going to be super biased. I, uh, that's what we want here. <laughs> this is SBF. He's uh, not Irish. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> um, my name's Luck. This I'm is Leo. Leo. Hello. Yes. Um, and we're delighted to be here with you. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to get this game started real quick. We got uh, Antonio Mithil rocking his Pikachu hat. Yeah. We got SBF rocking the beanie. It's going to be a good time. It's a, it's a good hat showing from the two. Mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very strong showing. Yeah, I Very think it's, it's going to get weaker after this. I didn't see many other good hats. No, no. I've, I'm rocking a hat, and that's about it. I yeah, think. I think that's it. But uh, I think Midfield definitely wins for the, for the style. You know? The hat points totally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. my God. The hat meta, it's insane. <laughs> It's cracked, really. But it's very fun to see uh, one of the top British players in SBF coming over. Yeah, and, it's uh, great playing to in see. this tournament. And can you imagine if this is also an upset? Another upset? That I would love that. I'm a very big fan of uh, the big heavy boys. I'm a big Ultimate. fan of Antonio. He's my boy. <laughs> and I love him. And I can't wait to see him get number one in the whole Irish region. I would, I would love that <laughs> so much, honestly. Oh. You know, it's clean, just, it's clean scissors to take the yeah, paper. You to really take in just one foul swoop taken the he's already in his meta. Head. He's already got it. Yeah. How uh, could this go worse? <laughs> uh, uh, will we see the gentleman in PS2? I, I mean, it's it's either... They look like they're banning. But that's a bit boring now, yeah. boys, isn't it? Like, it's the illusion of choice. They're just either going to gentleman PS2 or ban to PS2. I hope they start in a really weird stage. <laughs> Like they just start hollow bass. Yeah, crazy that we're actually going to um, <laughs> Splatoon Arena. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to a great cave offensive. A small battlefield small to battle. start. Also PS2. SBF to start for SBF. Let's go. SBF on SBF, which is just PS2, basically, a little bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into this game. We're going to see Ridley yeah. versus SBF playing Wario. Wario, yeah. Excellent. Um, I think Antonio's seen, or Mithiel's seen... Uh, quite a few wires in this time. Oh, um, and there's a player three now. Let's go, Mello. Uh, is Mello tagging in to help out Mithiel? <laughs> uh, just a reminder to everyone to disconnect your pro controllers. We've had to disconnect nine controllers nine paired to the Switch at the same Let's time at one point. Go. That was that was a, a big moment for the boys. Uh, they'll be able to hit the minus button and start the game anyway. It shouldn't yeah. be too much of a problem. But I think he can't find his tag now. Oh, someone! I think it might have been deleted, deleted or it might have been they might have swapped between. It wouldn't have been deleted. It probably just. Uh, I think it was. I think I remember seeing it being deleted by someone. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Delete the Brits tags. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got a good crowd going still. Yeah. Andy's going in the background. We got a good, good energy still. Uh, it is five past six, and we're getting ready to. Start the game off. We're going to be going until that's nine. That's crazy. That's yeah. Nuts. It's a long old tournament. And it's a, it's a two-day event as well, so yeah. we're going again tomorrow. <laughs> we don't sleep, actually. We're going to keep going yeah, through yeah. the night. We're going to be practicing, you know, playing our doubles tournaments and our squad strikes and everything. <laughs> All our side brackets. Oh, poor Potassium. Poor Potassium. You, you, don't, you hate to see it. You, hate, you do hate to see it. I was... I, you know, at least at least SBF is respectful enough to go to the bottom of the list. Yep. I've seen yeah. a few people go four down and delete a name, and that's when SBF's name that's is actually deleted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I can respect that a lot more. I like to seek out my rivals and delete their names. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to the middle if I want to delete Greg's name or Alimento's name, but I gotta, I got to do it if I want to, you know, send a message. Yeah, yeah, get rid of um, some of Greg's more questionable tags. Yeah, the real play is to <laughs> let them make their tag, then you, delete needing it. to make a tag, delete their tag. <laughs> <laughs> and then make your tag. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it sends a message. It does send a message. <laughs> that you should be banned, maybe, but... <laughs> <laughs> that you shouldn't be allowed to create a tag. You should have to rock player one. Just a little bit. <laughs> but let's get into it. We um, are going small battlefield, Riddy versus Wario. Top 24, winner's side. Right? Yeah, winner's side. side. Excellent. This is winner's round one of top 24, whatever. Group. Starting off here, uh, Wario is going to be probably winning the neutral game because yeah, it's Ridley. That's just going to happen. It's just going to. It's a. It's something you have to just yeah. put up with. Something I've noticed recently that where where where, where Ridley kind of shines a lot is when he Ridley is at ledge. Like uh, yes. it is so hard to pin Ridley there, and he gets so much off every interaction. Yeah, he's already you know gotten forty seven percent, like maybe two or three hits. Yeah. Uh, look, look at that, just like getting yeah. off ledge so confidently. He's almost like wanting SPF to force him to get to the ledge. Yeah. Because that's like his safe space. Mm -hmm. And then it's he can just launch an attack from there. It's almost like Bowser in Ultimate, in, uh, in Melee. Yeah. Which like <laughs> his whole thing is being at ledge. Um, and another thing, Ridley, that you're going to see a lot of this game. 
Oh, oh su was, suspect DI. Yeah, that was a bit early. Yeah, a little bit early. Like, that dash attack killed at 80, 90, I think. Yeah. And that should not be happening. That oh, <laughs> Missy wanted to hit them with something. Okay. <laughs> oh, going for the down beat. But it's just not going to take it. Oh, and the, the problem is now, with SPF already having a lead, Wario is a character who is very much stronger than anybody else when they have the lead. Yeah. Because they have their their instant win button at the, available at single, all times. A single sock is always awarded to Wario at some point in the game if they're playing it well enough at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah. There we go. That's the first stock from Mithril anyway. Only 100%, you know. Ridley not could do that. Yeah. Rid Ridley could live those. Ridley is actually not that heavy. Ridley is lighter than Samus. Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, why are they lighter than Samus? It's a great question, <laughs> but, you know... <laughs> Yeah. Um, a bit of a stock deficit, um, but hey, Mithril has been his comeback against Raven, against yes. Scarfeld. Yes. They have all, all of them being two ones with the first game going to his opponent. So let's see how this goes. Is this Wh a best of three, best of five? You know? um, I'm not sure. Uh, we don't know. Okay, we'll find out we'll as we find go. Out. Um, but either way, one thing I want you to keep an eye out for that you will see a lot, and it was how Mithril closed out. Never oh. mind. That I'm not going to get the chance to say it because Waft is going to take <laughs> that stock, just delete it. Mario's just. He's just there. Like, he's just able to, to hit these big, so, yeah. big, big attacks, and uh, Ridley is, as you said, quite a bit lighter than they look. He's so dominant. Like, like Mario's just going to be able to take those hits, yeah. start those combos, and just control, alt, delete that stock. <laughs> just turn off Ridley's operating system. Just get out of there because Waft will just. Ridley's so big too, but not heavy enough yeah. to compensate for it's, it. It's a really, it's a strange character dynamic. It's having kind, that. kind of like Mewtwo, where your tail, you just have this huge hurt box. Yeah. And like, sure, you've got the hitbox to deal with it, but when you're not throwing out a hitbox, um, you just have such a big body, and you don't have the weight to compensate for it. Oh. And that's that kind of sucks a little bit. But oh, do we have. I think SBF set up their controls wrong. Put oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and he still won. It, it didn't matter, I guess. But yeah. yeah. Uh, but now, Mithril, as you said, went a game down against Raven and still won. Went a game down against Scarfelt and still won. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is just part of the ritual. Up. Yeah. Part of the, part Downloading of the, yeah. the data, you know? Yep. Like Meta Ridley. Heating up the algorithm. You know, just a, just a little robot boy. <laughs> and, uh, and now they're ready to show them what, what they got. One thing I want, want you to keep look out for, uh, which is what we saw how Mithril took the second stock that game, was he will always, like all over these moves, send at the angle that makes it if he's at the very side ledge, if he's at ledge and he hits you, you're going to land on a platform and you have to tech that. Yeah. So he can just get over there and up smash and you'll just die for it. Mm -hmm. And that'll just happen so many times per game and you just need to be prepared for it. But it's so hard to react to because the camera's not even on the platform when you're onto the side. And it's so hard to manage. But let's see if Mithril can set up those situations. SBF just weaving around these options that Mithril's throwing around quite easily. But then Mithril just has to hit one to get about 50% onto him, which is... It's it's almost almost working. But then... Yeah, um, I think it's... There is a 45% deficit here, but like, I mean, Ridley can tack that on. But I just yeah, think yeah. SBF is so good at those command grabs Ooh. and so good at those conversions that Backer yeah. is going to take it. He's very nice good at finding kills early enough. Really cl clean at that. And these combos, they're so confident with them. Um, earlier on today, this morning, these combos, uh, just commentating SBF and Pools, maybe he wasn't going for huge combos. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, these are so strong. He's got them down pat. Um, what, he put like, tacked like 49% in like one combo, one yeah. string. Um, ooh, and does shield that up smash, which is so much shield damage. Do you see that? Yeah, you, you know, though, when yeah. Ridley's underneath you on a platform, yeah. he's going to up smash. You see it coming. So it will cover. How you're going to play around it. Yeah, it will cover the whole thing. And it's just a question of can you drop down, avoid the smash, and then get your command grab that heals you 0.5%. <laughs> <laughs> That's or a massive heal. Oh, yeah. the And that F tilt's yeah. going to take it. That it's just a sword. It's just it's such a strong disjoint. Just that F smash, though. That using works. using his ledge invincibility or his angel platform invincibility and just taking that stock, nice. <laughs> I mean, if if anything else doesn't work, you can always just F smash. Just F smash stage. while you're Let's invincible and you're totally fine. Most characters can just nowadays in this game can just do that because yeah. there's just a lot of startup on their forward smash, not a lot of ending lag. Which is really it's it's great for. Uh, for the, for the spectator, you know, just get to see all, all those F smashes. Yeah, everybody's you just, favorite moves. You love them. To, you love to see them until you're looking at one. Yeah, <laughs> down yeah. the barrel. Let's see if Antonio can pull this back a little bit. But SPF does have the fart yeah. on lock now. There, there it is. It is. 
And that's two. That's two. And we don't know if that's the game or not. It looks like it's not. It looks like they're still talking. Um, so it looks like we have a Vestify situation. Yeah. Excellent. So I think, like I said, Antonio loves to just, Amethio loves to just stick at ledge. Yeah. He's just, he's very comfortable there. But it looks like SBF is just very comfortable as well with, with having someone with ledge. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure he's kind, he seems to be dealing with it super well. I think there's a Ridley or two in the UK that, um, I wouldn't be a very sure. good one. I, 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 have this, I have a feeling anyway, but <laughs> either way, He's having no issue yeah, getting Antonio Amithiel off the ledge into a disadvantage point, and he's just capitalizing off it. And maybe Mithiel's been a bit too comfortable. Maybe he's, he's gotten a bit too much mileage off these uh, ledge interactions. Yeah. Uh, well, SPF just looks really, really confident when he goes in, and he's, uh, he's getting these long strings. Every time he comes down with a command grab, it always connects. Yeah. He doesn't even have to, he doesn't always even tomahawk it. He just lands with it, he combos into it. Like, he might just, he might just do it there, and people just, there, do you see that? Yeah. Like, that usually, that hits so frequently. And <laughs> Mithiel is racking up a bit of damage now. The crowd are definitely on his side. Yeah, and, uh, as they should be. <laughs> as they should be, but then SPF is just nice up smash. Very good at playing safe around all of these options. Yep. So, just uh, Mitchell yeah. actually winning currently. Uh, it well. does, almost doesn't feel like it though. No, not really. Oh, there's the nice. Side not gonna kill. Uh, that kills. You get the red flash on that way before that actually yeah. kills. Unfortunately, it sends it just a specific angle that just doesn't seem to kill. You know, it sends right into the cover. corner exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can just live. You got the DI on that. Oh. Big but up smash. Yeah, there you go. The, the late hit too. Um, it was in front of him. Did you see yeah. that? Great that hit. Nice. We got the grab. Nope. Nice. No. Getting Ridley off the ledge, ledge again. Yeah. Ridley, Ridley at ledge, baby. Ridley at ledge. As good as SBF is at challenging ledge, it's, just, <laughs> it's still a Ridley at ledge. Yeah. You just have to res you just mm -hmm. have to take the hit sometimes. There, oh. and that's the third time in a row. Yeah. He's forward aired off the ledge. And then also third time in a row, after getting forward aired off the ledge, <laughs> he command grabs and heals five percent and sends him off. And oh. that's But then back. Ridley's up B, it just it he's, goes so high. Man's got a jetpack, he's yeah. gonna use it, he's getting back. If he's not in the blast zone, he's getting back most yeah. of the time. I mean if he is a dragon, so like I guess it makes sense that he, he can fly that He much. deserves it, he needs it, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a few things I think Ridley doesn't need, but he needs that. Oh, oh, oh. mashed out of the side B. Mashed out of it if the, the side B, that's going to kill. Yeah. It also kills, which is crazy. <laughs> um, it's a very good move. Mm -hmm. oh, nice forward smash. Big ass smash. Commanding there, yeah. lead for Mithiel, an entire stock go up. Let's see. Although, really, because of the WAP, it's only really one stock or a half a stock go up. Let's yeah, see. He is yeah. currently glowing orange. Yeah. Can Let's he hold on to this lead? Oh, bad air dodge. No, he's fine. And he's still okay, though, because he's Ridley. Yep, it's so hard. Dodge there. It's so hard to challenge uh, Ridley's up B because it has such a strong disjoint. Like, yeah. the, it's based a huge triangle in front of him that will just completely, like, it kills so early, too. Mm -hmm. And spikes if it's going downwards. It's so strong. I've heard that people are very, uh, uh, Tom Popstar is very annoyed at Mithiel because a lot of the time in neutral, he'll just go for an up B into the opponent. Yeah, he does because that. Because it's, it's, it's actually just a very good attack. It's not that well. bad. Yeah. If you don't know, like, because um, you have to shield it, but if you haven't played this character a lot or against this character, yeah, you yeah. have no idea when it's going to stop. It's going to cross you up, but you don't know how far it'll go, and you can't react to that in time all the time. Oh, the side B catches, doesn't go all the yep. way. Now nice, Wario's running nice. at them with the waft, which is Wario just, just not that fat, f oh, quick the enough. Up smash. That was a good trap there. Mithiel the has this download now. He's going for a lot of up smashes. Yep. Just trying to get rid of the the Wario, the bad man. And oh, a trade that's going to take the game. That looked. And we've got a two-one in mid in still in SBS favor, but that game looked really strong for Mithiel. Let's it see did. if he can. That was the download. That was the download. He waits until the, his last life yeah. in, the, in, the in the game, in the, in the match. That's all he And then he, he decides to turn on. That's all he needs. One chance. <laughs> and now it's about whether SBF can adapt to what Mithils has shown. Can you adapt to the adaptation? Back to his home, SBF and yep. SBF. Okay. Uh, good, good players can adapt to other players. Great players can adapt to their adaptation. Exactly. He's gone back to the red skin for Wario. I saw he changed it in the last game. Oh. Maybe that's where he went wrong. Yeah, true. <laughs> He should switch back his tilt his controls to smash attack on the season. Yes, actually. That seemed to work out for him. It did. It, it seemed to be very helpful. <laughs> now it's a question of uh, trying to not let Wario get in and get his 40% combos yeah, or you something. Do, you do just have a sword. Like, Ridley <laughs> can keep you out a little bit, but so does Wario for some of his moves. Like, his, uh, his, up, his up air is great. His up tilt's incredible. His forward tilt is nuts. Yeah. 
nice. Just a very War well rounded yeah. character. SDF not really. falling for those forward airs as much. Uh, maybe this time. He's already shielded two of them. Tech's out, rolls all the way in. <laughs> you just it's so hard to challenge that uh up -y. But oh, the on the regrab. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Because F-tilt at ledge, it's it's very hard that <laughs> Wario's just got one of the best two frame options and then Absolutely. It's just it's so good. It wasn't even a two frame, I think. Yeah, because they the regrab ability. Oh yeah, no, it was legend mentability re staling. Yeah, he, yeah. Um because Ridley loves to stay at the ledge for so long, then oh, eventually yeah. he loses it. Oh my god. Really? That gets the kill. And, and he gets lives. back. This is going to be an extremely nuts. uphill battle for Mythio. Let's see if, what he can do with it. He's basically down four stocks against the Wario. <laughs> and with, with only a minute, ten seconds in on the clock. SBS feeling himself right now. Yeah, he, he might really just go is. for the waft whenever. Mm -hmm. Bit of half it, it's, it's not even on until f another 40 seconds. <laughs> might just go for it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Going for a ledge oh, trap with the bike, and, and there's a backer. Not going to take okay. it yet. This might, no. Nope. Fully expected to kill. All right, okay. there's that other, that's that forward air again. <laughs> Goes for the up smash Just charge. Just it a little bit. Uh, gets the grab, nice. Won't kill again. Never gonna like kill, I said, yeah. it'll kill next time, but not that time. He goes for the F smash instead of the up smash. Up smash might have connected. And there's the up beam, there's, the, there's the waft. You just, yeah. That Very was well a, played by SPF. Yeah, that was a, a last uh, kind of a desperate attempt to get some damage in, but Antonio's yeah. going to be sent to the loser bracket. Very, very strong. 3-1 to SPF. SPF's looking very good right now. Oh, yeah. He's happy with himself. Yeah, but it's I'm excited to see what Mithio can do now yeah, in loser's too. bracket me because too. he's been we're looking very good. He even looked very good in that game, I'd we're, say. We're going to get a great loser's run. <laughs> <laughs> I say. Looking very good in his Pikachu hat. Oh, yeah. Good ears. Good ears on that one. <laughs> I wonder who's up next now. I don't know. I don't see anybody walking up to the stage anyway, but I'm sure it's going to be a great game. We have some great games in winner's side, even in some loser's side games as well. Yeah, do you want to get the bracket up? Yeah. I had it up a second ago. Hotel Wi-Fi. Not even hotel Wi-Fi. Hotel. <laughs> hotel uh, data. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's always great, isn't it? Top 24. Uh, we got Kahl versus Snook. That's going to be a high game. That is going to be very uh, We're going to get the, the run back from the As One Arena. Yes. Um, Dimitri against uh, Sassy Priest. Flat nice. versus Ike. That's a very... That's a, yeah. that's a match I've never again, seen before. Again, we this is, we haven't seen many plants in general. We don't know what these matchups are like. Yeah. Um, I don't think anyone really knows how good they do against plants until they play a good plant. <laughs> and nobody's played a good plant until today or As One Arena last time. So, you know... We'll John find out. versus Anto as well. Samus versus Wario. In loser's racket? It's at some winner's side as well. Oh, cool. What's in loser's side? Uh, we have uh, Ayer versus Seal. 107, Matty Moo. Nice. Um, Brian versus Popstar might be interesting. Cool. Harther against Steven. Great. Harther's in loser's side. Yeah. Or, oh, 20 top 24. That's great. John T against Dobbs. I'm excited to see how the big fish boys do. Yeah. There's, um, there's a lot of them that have been uh, yeah. to their weeklies. It's nice I to see them come down. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think Dobbs that a... Uh, Bit of a <laughs> card stacked against them a little bit, but uh, yeah, that uh, is a tough run. Yeah, um, a, a good fox is really scary, <laughs> really, really scary. It's an interesting bracket, though. Really interesting. I'm excited. I'm and very we have excited. Call coming up to the stage. Yeah, in a one piece shirt. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Wrapping the cause, <laughs> and then Dara, of course. So it's probably going to be Min Min versus Samus. Yep. God. So so we have a character who can use charge shot. Yeah. And a character who is called Samus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just the two distance demons. Yep. One Min -min of them one of them is insane. way more distance and demon than the other though. Yeah. I I don't know. But it's not even like Min Min's bad up close really. Yeah. Like you've got yeah. that monster of an up smash which can reflect the charge shot. That's the thing. May I'm I remind about. you? Yeah. Uh, and everything else, and the god, uh, Min Min. Love that character. That character's design is so interesting. Fascinating is the word I'd yeah, use, fascinating. yeah. Fascinating, yeah, very. Um, what twisted mind came up <laughs> <laughs> Sakurai really went off with Min Min. I'm glad they're in the game. I'm uh, gonna say it. Um, you know, ARMS isn't a real franchise, and Min Min's a, a bit of a strange character to put in from it, and they're very annoying to fight, but I'm glad Min Min's in the game. You're so brave. I, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I think I think it's a it's an interesting you know um, translation of uh, an arms fighter into a smash game. Yeah, which I don't I'm not sure that should have happened. I, 
I would, I, say? I actually would argue it shouldn't have happened. But I, if you were talking about how well Arms was adapted in this match, I would say, yeah, you're right. No, it's a good adaptation. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's it's interesting watching this character. And uh, I prefer okay, some other DLC characters. Now we disagree. I, I don't think it's interesting to watch. <laughs> I think I think I enjoy watching Dara. You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. Zwande. I uh, don't know what this is, but I'm assuming it's some kind of anime thing. Knowing it's Kyle. probably some sort of One Piece. <laughs> it's one of them. One. Pieces. It's one of those pieces. <laughs> uh, the many pieces. Many. There's there's one piece. There's only one. There's only one piece. Only one. There's only one. I that's, thought there was more. That's what's the. It's called One Piece. Yeah, but there could be like multiple One Pieces. That would be ridiculous. I guess. That would be like eight pieces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's five parts of Exodia, but like, you know, my brother had three and I had one. That's actually illegal in the Yu-Gi-Oh! in Yu-Gi-Oh! rules. You're only allowed one of each. Wow. It's in the restricted section of the, the ban list. Wow. Yeah, keep up. Keep up. Oh, it's a Palutena ditto. I was gonna say. Oh, God. I was gonna say, I would much prefer to see Palu than Min Min. Uh, not that I'm loving Palu, but I, I don't know. What I love about Dara is he has uh, two tags. One that says Mimin, and one with Mimin, Mimin 2 for Mimin when he goes <laughs> Palutena. Different button there? Yeah, I'm guessing it's a uh, difference between tilt and smash stick. Oh, uh, makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Ahmed's not very happy. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> confirming that you do have to swap them around. Yeah. Mimin is snug. It is, it is confusing when it's the same character twice. <laughs> <laughs> And they both play identically kind of perfect. <laughs> They're both very good. Both very good Palus that... I know, if you showed me footage of a Palu and were like, okay, is this Snook or Selkie? I'd be like, I have no idea. I could not explain to you what the difference is. Dara's um, very movement-based. and then What does that mean? People say that a lot. I don't think that's a, a, a phrase that means anything. They move a lot. I don't, know, I don't know what to say. Like, they're <laughs> movement-based. What do you want from me? And then, uh, if you see someone throw out like five explosive planes in a row, that's probably Selkie. <laughs> they love that move. That's the uh, first stock for Snook. Okay. Really strong first stock. Yeah, look at this movement nice that they're basing cancel. their play on. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> there are about like ten phrases that Smash players love to use that mean exactly zero things. Yeah, it's good macro spacing. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Just dash attack to dash attack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that's micro spacing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, F tilt the wrong way. That's that's macro spacing, really. Yeah, yeah. That's saying you can't go that way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, it's uh, it's zoning. Dara it's has to respect it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's declaring areas that you can't enter. Yeah, it's like um, uh, country borders. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you kind of make them up as you go. Um, you do see, I will say that you see you see Selkie a lot go for those um, like falling side bees that yeah. try to catch. Yeah, and they're they're, they're really scary. They're really, really scary. And they love up tilt too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see many other Palutena's go for up tilt ever. <laughs> and then Selkie tries to finish like most of their combos with it, which I love. Mm -hmm. Whereas Dara is more like uh, just movement back based. Air. You're right. He's mo movement <laughs> based, exactly. Uh, he, he'll go for bears, he'll go for grabs, that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, nice teleports. And there's the up there's tilt. There's the up tilt, like you said. Thing. Yeah. As see, there are differences between the two. Yeah, no, I see them now. I yeah. see them. They're both boys E members, so I, I have much knowledge of the two. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen many a game. It's it's nice to see Dara actually playing again, though. Obviously, he couldn't play too much with Wi-Fi because uh, yeah, it seems like internet hasn't uh, yeah, they're approached still, they're still his in the location yet. Still, they're still in the dark ages where he is. You know, they've they've maybe? recently discovered bronze. Um, <laughs> that could be big. <laughs> I think it's going to be a big deal. I can't wait till the Industrial Revolution hits <laughs> Tipperary. <laughs> and then uh, Cahal, of course, a Wi-Fi warrior who would be playing people from South America on Irish Wi-Fi, <laughs> which I love. That's why they picked up Samus. <laughs> <laughs> that is cruel. <laughs> oh, Dara at ledge is pretty strong, though. Mm -hmm. Very strong. Very good with timing his down tilt. Especially with all his movement. You see the movement, he jumped down, he jumped back up. You wow. see, most Palutena's don't do that. He really does like to move, doesn't he? He bases his pl game plan on this movement because wow. he knows it's good. Crazy movement. That was crazy movement. I don't yeah. know. I, he moved right into that grab. <laughs> that was uh, co uh, Derek. No, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the back air to finish nice, the stock. Yeah. There you go. Nice back air. A nice back air. Very I would nice. say so. Exactly. <laughs> A nice dash attack as well. Oop. Spinny stick. Just to start something. Not a lot of nair chains, actually, so Not a lot. We, we, haven't, more. we haven't got a lot of spinny stick tours of, no. of Small Battle, or PS2, unfortunately. Yeah, it's hard to tell the difference sometimes between the two stages, I agree. <laughs> They're very similar. Oh. 
It's it's going to be tough now for Cal to get back into this one. I yeah, feel like Dara doesn't drop leads like this yeah, very often. They seem like they seem so often, but uh, like are so even. But yeah. Dara just seems to be like inching ahead and like holding on to that lead every time. Feels like he has these kill confirms down yeah, a bit better. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Um, maybe. Ooh. Um, that was a s strange interaction. Oh yeah, trying Kyle to catch that. that smash too. Loves trying to catch that. There's the explosive flame. You just have to respect it. Mm -hmm. You just have to respect it again. And then <laughs> oh, there's the actual attack. Very, very annoying trying to get back onto Sage against Palutena. They we just ha have all the options. A move hasn't connected in a long time. There's and the up tilt that kills. That's going to take it. <laughs> and now it's 100%. I'm going to be honest. I wasn't sure if that game was over or if we were going to last stock. <laughs> I didn't know which Palutena was going. There it is. Kyle just loves those side B combos. And just get one, go into another one, or just try it's to catch them with it. It's, it's very hard, though, to try and get in on Dara. It mm. seems like you get one attack, and then he's already found his option out. Yeah. He's just so slimy. He's <laughs> so <laughs> <But> slippery. It, <laughs> we've evened it up a little bit. We have. This Let's is see. looking very doable for Kahal. There's the backer. Ooh, that could have been it. And now it's something at the ledge. Tries to go with the down air. Yep. Over their back. And now it's just two women jumping around, kicking each other. <laughs> and it's whoever lands the first kick. You honestly. know what they say. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not involved in this. Uh, uh, oh, the jab. Trying to confirm oh, the jab. The dash into attack does get dash the kill, gonna take it. Who is that? I don't know who that, that is. Snook. Snook won that one. Great. Yes, Snook Excellent. Gets the first game. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be helping uh, production staff tell yeah. who it's who as well. <laughs> <laughs> so Dara is the, the one wearing white. Carl's the one wearing red. Right. Yes. And in real life, in Carl real is wearing life, red. Carl's wearing red and Dara has a white mask. Yeah, oh, that's a good we'll, way to we'll keep track we'll of this. Take, we'll take that. We'll take, we'll take what we can get, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like a consistent does, color scheme, you know? Does Carl kind of look cell shaded to you on his, <laughs> on his shirt? <laughs> like a Ruby character? <laughs> oh, no, no, don't bring up Ruby to me. <laughs> I refuse to engage with Ruby discourse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go from small battlefield to a normal battlefield. Let's go. Yeah. Medium battlefield. Medium battlefield. I was going to call it the bigger one, but then I remembered we actually do have a big battlefield. This is medium battlefield. Welcome to medium battlefield. Hope you enjoy your stay. Both hands just I saw Ridley for a second, and I'm, for some reason I expected it. That would that'd be positive. <laughs> if like, someone just busted out a Ridley. Like at the end of the day, Palo is such an even matchup spread slash winning matchup spread that there's no character these either of them can like swift swap to to be like, oh, I can win this matchup. So they both have yeah. to stay Palo basically. Unless they just feel confident in someone else. Yeah, or you they feel... You might see a, a Samus. You might, you might. I doubt we'll see a Min Min, though. Uh, I don't think so, no. Min Min Palu doesn't yeah. sound fun. <laughs> Palu gives Min Min a uh, tour of Battlefield with the spinny stick. Oh, no. <laughs> Speaking of Min Min, though, Min Min 2. Min Min really 2. off here. Getting out of here. It's just, it's just neutral beats on shield. Yeah. <laughs> it's so even the entire time. That it's, it's like <laughs> you, you took a mind and you cloned it and you put it in like a different body and then you made them both play chess. <laughs> it's, it's just kind of that. You know, it's like, who's going to win? It's it's really a coin flip. But, th but there's no port po priority, so it's not like just player <laughs> one's going to win this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we ran this experiment very well. Yeah, clones. yeah. We yeah. did. We're actually, it's actually still ongoing. Yeah. Um, we're currently streaming on this one live. <laughs> I mean, the fans are loving it. They're, they're, oh. they're going the off in the chat. Cr the crowd is popping off. Oh, the crowd is going wild. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that at home. All 11 members of the crowd. <laughs> I don't think one of them is even watching the screen. <laughs> but no, honestly, um, these players are so good at what yeah. they're doing. And it's just... It's just, <laughs> they're just <laughs> they do the same thing. That's the wrong time to roll say these players are so good. <laughs> roll behind back air with because they're occupying the same space into roll behind back air. Sorry, roll behind grab whiffing because still they're <laughs> occupying the same space. That, that's the movement-based polytech. <laughs> the movement... <laughs> you know? Oh, there's the up air. There's, there's the up air. Send them up. 30% already. Very Ooh. clean. Um, is that going to take no. it? No. It wasn't the full power of the dash attack. <laughs> the movement-based Palu's dash attack, you know? It's, it's With worse. how much movement they build up, right. the dash attack <laughs> boosts in power. Is momentum the word you're looking for? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's I don't give a... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever word I'm you saying want. nonsense right now. What are you talking about? I'm just talking. You can get whatever you want out of what I'm saying. <laughs> you can interpret whatever you like, because I'm sure as hell not interpreting it at all. <laughs> the there is no stage. meaning behind these words. <laughs> that teleport across stage is so needless. <laughs> Kyle's just doing it for whatever reason. There. Kyle wants to get to point A and point B and says, I'm skipping all points in between. <laughs> oh, 
nice get down on Palo though. Oh, Palo's missed, missed just the tech. throwing out a million options. Mm -hmm. Palo's got to get back off Palo, but Palo is just occupying ledge. Really, just oh, but Palo knocking Palo off the side. But it's a good thing that Palo is really good options for getting off ledge. But join us in going insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the back air almost killing already. Yeah, right? Palo's back air really good at killing Palo. Uh, <laughs> I think it's uh, you know, it's pretty good at killing Palo. Yeah, but it's I suppose every other character. Palo. Uh, trying to get, reads the um, air dodge, but still doesn't. It's still too high up. Yeah. But maybe uh, was that di up? I'm not too sure. Who di is up? <laughs> These sick twisted minds <laughs> who play Palo. Sick twisted the minds of top players. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Ooh, really? Even rough. if they did make it back to ledge, I think they got hit by the up smash. Yeah. That's, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> just unfortunate. Just Palo just has that option where they can just yeah. run in dash attack. That shield just has intangibility. I love how the shield like actually protects them during dash attack. That's it is so pretty funny. cool. They need it. <laughs> they do need it. They're such a struggle, you know, as a Palutena. <laughs> oh, no, you know, the world's against you. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe in Smash 4, but in this game, no. Oops, sorry. Um, I know, like, Selkie seems to be keep going for these down tilts, and Selkie just seems to be getting, like, shielding them and then not going for a punish, as if, yeah. like, is it that safe? Uh, yeah, it seems, it's like very, very good frame. I don't know what the frame is, but I, I know it is a very, very safe move. Oh, interesting. I, I know a, a decent bit about Palutena because I've talked to Cahill so much about Smash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, and James, of course, James, yeah. formerly James Donkey Kong, formerly of course, James of course. Pogchamp, of course. Um, who is uh, an aficionado in um, beating <laughs> Palutena. I really, I really want to see him again. He's going to be coming back around 2022. To the events he said. Yeah, so, good. Yeah, I, um, I miss that boy. They're in the chat earlier. Oh, hey James. Oh, nice. Um, Snow equalizing this first game. Uh, what a piece. I mean, 104 damage on Snook. Yeah, I don't see Cahill dropping this. No, games. we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go to a 1-1. One, one. Um, oh, but Spinny Stick time. Spinny Stick. Unless <laughs> 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 he's moving him across the stage. It's very based. <laughs> Back throw. Not going to take it yet. Oh, the teleport, teleport. just through the neutral feet. <laughs> that looked so cool, honestly. That looked sick. Mm. Oh, like they're going to take it? No. Just right. like the Matrix. Just running into the shield yeah. for a full minute there. <laughs> Call just waiting. Ledge cancelling the teleport and jumping back onto the ledge. Very funny. Oh. They both go for the exact same thing when holding ledge, too. Yeah. <laughs> they double jump up down air. Palo Dittos, it's often so close that it's does, uh, it's kind of determined by who can hit the back down air first. Or the back air to take the stop. Or the back air, um, yeah. But like a, a gimpy down air kind of thing, it's um, it, it can just turn the flow completely because it's so neutral. <laughs> That's what um, I remember John telling me when John went Palo for a bit. Oh, no. Back when bad like, times. Yeah. <laughs> the bad ending. <laughs> <laughs> Wi-Fi had just, like, stopped. We had our first court monthly, and he went Palutena. It's 1-1 uh, it's one, one right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll um, stick into Palu Palu. Yeah. Just in case anyone was uh, just a little confused which Palutena took that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry. We see you. We see you. We, we see, see you. you. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's, uh, it's straight back in on small battlefield this time. <laughs> Let's go. Palu v Palu again. On a little bit smaller PS2. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no We're hits really just taking it from Battlefield to Battlefield. I really hope they end this on big Battlefield. <laughs> I'd love to oh, see a movement based stage. Palu work with that much stage. I wonder why they went for the forward air instead of the another nair. Mm. Nice. You know, it's, it's hard to understand the mind of Kahul. Or know. any Palu, really. <laughs> they are, they are these like cosmic horror eldritch beings beyond <laughs> our comprehension. They're mortal forms. While, um, you know. They are the pictures of angels from yeah. the old time Bible. <laughs> they are, yeah, they're biblically accurate angels. Yeah. <laughs> in the forms of humans that play Palutena. <laughs> in the same way Palutena is actually in yeah. her games, you know? Yeah. She just looks like a woman so she doesn't blind everyone. Exactly. Like me, actually. Um, you look like a woman? <laughs> Spinny stick. Off ledge. You got, you stick off ledge. To love to see that. Love to see stick off ledge. I like how we stopped really commentating this game properly because it it's became just two a, palace. It became a bit very, very, very close to the beginning <laughs> of the set. <laughs> we just kind of gave up early. <laughs> it's so hard to keep track. It is. Um, <laughs> two palatators, like one maybe. Like oh, the side me kills. That's yeah. crazy. That's <laughs> like it, <laughs> It's so even that it feels like most commentary isn't even very useful because there's, there's very yeah. few insights. 
Like, the, like you know, commentary is three things mostly, I think. It's insights, um, you know, hype, and yeah. personality. Yeah. Um, you don't need insights or hype right now, so we're all personality. <laughs> I feel like if you can tell the difference between the two Palutena's, you probably know what's going on. And if you can't, we can't help you. Yeah, we're, um, it's not like I'm colorblind, but I'm not not colorblind. <laughs> Oh, oh, the upbeat doesn't make it. Wow. It, they're at 170. I don't think it's going to be a big difference. I don't think that was going to be the, the yeah, make or break like, it for them. They lived that attack, and it was so epic, but I then they couldn't make it back. That's <laughs> actually going to hurt their mental fortitude. <laughs> it's just so much standing and shield and nairing. So oh much standing God. and shielding and nairing. <laughs> uh, spinny stick, spinny stick, forward air. And now it's 36-36. <laughs> it's, it's so, so even. frustratingly even. <laughs> it's like a really long chess match, and they're just moving their pawns back and forth. Oh. Okay, there's an F tilt. Get him off the ledge. And now it's just get him back on from ledge. <laughs> back on ledge. Back air. Same color percents. Oh. Six percent in it. Uh, they both dash forward. You know what doesn't help? Palutena's uh, alternate skins, they all have the same hair. That You know what, I was just thinking about that. I have yeah. no, I cannot, like, I'm not paying attention to, like, the main color I see is the green. Yeah. And none of that changes, and it's so frustrating, because I literally just see them all as the exact same. And, like, the... And the shield. The shield and the, the staff, the little pearl on top, they yeah. do change color, but it's just from a dark blue to a lighter blue. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm really annoyed by that, because I only noticed that halfway through this level as oh, well. Oh, you're totally right. Yeah, it's like a tiny shade different. The Nair catches. Nair Ooh. catches. We haven't seen that yet. Yeah. Oh, that was a perfect angle to get back, yeah. though. Oh, never. Yeah, yeah never catching never again. Catch. Yeah. I think it feels like Cahill reminded that Dara that's an option. Yeah, and then <laughs> Dara went for as well. <laughs> and now it's I was just Cahill needs to find a, a big meaty hit here. Yep. Before Dara wins that's it back, which is what he's doing now. Yeah. The dash attack. It's keeping Cahill at ledge. Oh, the up air. Very smart there to get back. Very, very smart to take the stock by getting back to ledge as well for free. And now it's just about getting percent before you go. I have, um, you know, I'm, I'm interested to see how this goes. Like, honestly, if, you, if I was a betting man, I would say this game is going to, um, you know, the final, like, the, the fifth so fifth game of the yeah, set. Yeah, yeah. And I just feel like... I feel like we're going to see character switches if it does. You think so? Yeah. I'm excited to see that. Like, honestly, I'm, uh, I'll, I'll settle for a min-min. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> nice, that was a big clean. catch with the fair. Yeah. These, again, like, like you, I think you've said before, like, I think Snook has the... Kill hit confirms down. Um, yeah. You just he's got those. If you're getting hit by Snook and you can be killed by it, you probably will be. Um, How Kahl would describe it is Kahl has sauce. Kahl will go for the schmicks. The sh However, <laughs> Dara is optimal and will go for the correct option. <laughs> and of and course, you should not listen to any of the words that Kahl just said because Kahl speaks gibberish. <laughs> 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 it's very much just you know whatever buzzword is currently buzzing around their head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's very good at Smash, which is what he's showing right now. Yeah, and that's that's the important thing. Got them into top 24. Yeah, uh, you, really don't, you don't need any you know words up there if you got the, the, the GameCube controller skills. Hell yeah. Oh, the up smash! That was a very big caller. Very clean. You see, that would be the schmicks. And now... They, they would tell me they were schmooving right there. And now we're, <laughs> we're rooting for Call really hard now. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're the cooler player. <laughs> we are sending Call energy. And vibes. <laughs> Do we have any? Uh, uh, this is the set of the event from James. Um, let's, James let's says go, James. James can confirm everything I've said Schmix. so far. Let's go. I hope you. I hope you think I'm. I'm being very um, faithful to uh, your word, James, <laughs> on, on commentary. Uh, shout out to Sarah Ages. What a king. I don't know who that is. Uh, you wouldn't. He's just watching because I'm on comms. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Shout out James Donkey Kong. <laughs> Hi, really John's dad's son. All of this. Hello, John. Let's go. We're we sticking with the Palo for now. Sword nice. with Palo. We got a 2 1 to Cahill. Let's see if Snook can pull this back. If it continues like this, though, this might be the last game. Might be, might be. Might be. Um, pretty convincing call. It was like, what? Like, he was only. Uh, they were only like on 30%, maybe? Something like yeah. 40, 50. Yeah. Oh. But, uh, the thing is, Dara is just uh, so. So well drilled, even in these situations, he's not going to drop his mental at all. Yeah. yeah. So um, he's just going to come out and fight even harder, if anything. Did a gimmer there. <laughs> got out of that, <laughs> got out of that nair with a, with a gimmer. 
<laughs> I hate that there's a tech that's named after Gimmer in this I, game. I think Gimmer also hates that that tech's named after him. Then I love it. <laughs> the Gimmer. Oh my god, that S-Smash went. Wow. Set the flag. Didn't They're take living, it, though. Yeah. But Nearly, that was, though. That was a big call, though. Huge. Oh, and the that's down air! take it. That's what I was talking about earlier. The down air is going to decide the flow of this yep. game, really. And now Dara just needs to get in, get his little 40% combo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then it just played even. Like, the up smash, though. So clean. Yeah. Such a clean conversion in Kyle's that final. really heated up as this set's final going hit. on. Yeah. Um, I think playing much Palo before this. Yeah, so I think. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think they've been playing mostly like Samus. So I think. Yeah. Um, Samus and Zelda. Swapping back to the Palu maybe took them a minute to get heated back mm. up again. But their their hands are warm. Their brain is melty. They got it. They are spinning that stick so well. Uh, better than exactly. any. Exactly. <laughs> possibly better than anyone else here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He'd love what he just said. <laughs> 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 no, Dara is just netting damage very high here. Yep. Uh, it's it's just a question <laughs> of can he get a quick conversion too? Yeah. Dara is call the option to almost get surgical with his kill confirms and getting those confirms and getting those just edge guards and stuff. Like that early down yeah. air was huge. It was. Uh, that was such a big deal. And getting more of those, I think, every one of those you get is all, like a step closer than your opponent you get to the finish line because this feels less like a fight between two players and more like a race to the finish line, right? Yeah. Um, it's very much just trying to do it quicker. Yeah, like um, they, they have such similar skill levels. Every single hit is like, it's blow for blow. Mm -hmm. And it just feels like every single point you get that's closer just puts you a little bit closer ahead uh, in terms of just, you know, mental fortitude or also just actual mechanical stocks that you have left. I think yep. one thing I'm definitely uh, excited to see is how both of these players do after this match. Because I think they're go both going to go on and do great. Yeah. Uh, wh whoever goes into losers is probably going to go on a big losers run. And mm -hmm. winner's side is probably going to stay in winner's side for a big fair time. bit. So it's, it's just, we have two of Ireland's best players right here playing round one of top 24. Which Hell is yeah, we do. such a privilege. Yeah, it shows uh, how stacked this event is. Yeah, just Blackie just in the chat saying this is by far the fastest match we've had. We haven't had, had to even resort to talking nonsense yet. Like this has actually just been fast paced mostly we've I, been talking mostly I feel like we've been talking a lot of nonsense a little less nonsense than last time okay, uh, okay. <laughs> but yeah now it's it's even stevens last stock yeah uh, i'll start the rack of the damage first though I mean, it's been scary. it's been it's been even stevens my dude it has been shia LaBeouf Steven stevens <laughs> oh the explosive flame but it's shielded now Darren needs to get in here but Kahl's just jumping around yeah uh i mean Darrett doesn't not need to get in. Darrett can chill. They have the percent lead. He does not need to. He, you come to me. Call is the percent lead. You're right. You're right. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's the curse of the Palu. I though. can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> End it. <laughs> Someone get dared already. Someone get up smashed oh, at 80. Uh, uh, sus side B from Call. Yeah, I think. Call's just addicted to it. Just, just. It's his form of crack. It's, it's the sauce. <laughs> Addicted to the sauce, honestly. <laughs> Drowning in the sauce of that is side You'd B. You'd be happy hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> you got you to show him the best bits of this VOD. Oh, yeah. He, he'll watch this setback. He will, I will make sure of it. <laughs> Spinny stick catching the get neutral get up. Dash, Dash tag. And it, oh, what? <laughs> you know, I was saying earlier how a, the mark for good player is adaptation, the mark for great player is adaptation of adaptation. Yeah. The mark of the best players is neutral get up as opposed to just rolling in place <laughs> when you're at the side of a platform. Um, only the really good players just neutral get up. That's true. Smash Ultimate players would rather get up attack than neutral get up. Let's oh, yeah, be honest get up here. attack. That's all I do. <laughs> <laughs> when, even when they're across the stage, Smash Ultimate players will neutral get up. Not these two. Because they are some of the best we have to offer. And, back here, and now it's a game five. And we are going to game five. Are we going to see the character swap? I feel like we stick now. Actually. I think we stick. Yeah. I think we're sticking. I think we're seeing it through. I think it's just a coin flip at this point. Who's going to get this? <laughs> <laughs> Ahmed looks like he's already done. <laughs> we have production crew, comms, spectators. Brains are melty. And this is Smash Ultimate, not Melty Blood. <laughs> That's a joke for anybody who plays Melty Blood. I think everyone will get. I think everyone will get that all joke. All one person. I think who's everyone ever heard of Melty Blood. I think people have heard of Melty Blood. I don't That's think anyone's it. heard of this game. I think before. if you've heard of the game, really you'll get the joke. It's it just really underground. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the joke does not make it funny. <laughs> Let's go Melty. Let's go oh, Melty. There's the one person who knows what Melty Brains Blood is. Brains are Melty. <laughs> oh, they don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, no, let's go. Palu's Who on Battlefield. Can? We have two apiece on Battlefield. These players are so strong. Let's see who can find spin their sticks better. But this is called counterpick to normal Battlefield. Yeah, like, I, <laughs> how, how on earth do you choose a stage pick for this? Like, do you really just... Does Carl think, no, I'm better on Battlefield? Or, do, or was he just like, I, that one, I guess. The most neutral stage possible, maybe? Surely that's PS2. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. I guess maybe they just like the three pl triplots. Yeah. Um, and Dara obviously preferring the, the two-plot. Mm -hmm. But not liking PS2. It has to be small Battlefield or else I'm not in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dara is just oppressing. So, as they try to get down if air. you're if you're a betting man, are you choosing? Um, are you going to say that Cahill can spin his sticks better, or are you saying Dara can spin his sticks better? I feel like Cahill gets something stupid here. Yeah, you yeah. think you think games gonna be closed up by Cahill doing something dumb? Cahill's gonna do like the dumbest shit possible, and then uh, like two seconds later get a kill, and then uh, <laughs> it's gonna he's gonna whiff the dumb shit, and then yeah yeah no he's gonna go for something dumb, miss it, and then get a kill. Nice. And that's uh, gonna that's gonna decide the game. Yeah, nice kill yeah. from Dara though. Dara's starting this game strong. Cole see, seeing that teleport and saying, "I know exactly where you're going. This you can't fool me. We've been playing for years. I know you're gonna <laughs> be right here." And Dash attacks him for it. Dara's been playing Palutena for like ten years now. Yeah, so <laughs> even in <laughs> Smash Four. <laughs> yeah, man went through the ringer so we could have you know. Yeah. My hands look like this, playing in Smash 4, so hers could look like this, Palutena in Smash <laughs> Ultimate. He and really did do it for his, his wife, Palutena, <laughs> as well, you know. That's, that's the reason he started playing this character. Dara himself manifested that this character would be good in Ultimate by playing it yeah, just his, the his one of the worst Sakurai, characters. You know? Sorry? His uncle Sakurai, didn't Oh, you? crazy. Yeah, his, yeah. his uncle works for Nintendo. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and then... And again, we've evened it up, basically. 50% is nothing. Especially when you get a nair. Yeah. Oh, but Dara but, got the but nair. But what if the <laughs> other spinny stick gets spun? <gasps> oh, the, again, the down these down airs. That could kill, honestly. Yeah, that's that's the, the yeah. frightening part. Call teleporting to the let the platform. Very nice. Wish the grab. You yeah, just got to do a big jump sometimes yeah. when um, you're doing all the small jumps. You know. You yeah, mix yeah. It up. You know how it is. Yeah. You gotta you gotta base your game plan a bit more on movement, especially when you play against someone like Dara. Because you're right, really he's, he's a movement based player. He is a movement based player. Because that means player. something. It, it uh. means something to all of us, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's it's you know, it's something that really speaks to the hearts yeah. and minds of Smash Brother. Call actually is in a bit of a pr trouble here. He um, is. He's gonna have to come back with this one. Might need yeah. a bit of Campbell's I, soup. I think. <laughs> I think nobody's. Um, I think you'd be absolutely a fool. To start betting at this point, though, I don't think yeah. like it is still functionally even. I don't think you can count either these players out. I hope there was no channel points bets because yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, that, that would be uh, too dangerous even to bet now. Yeah, I would. I would not be. Um, oh, not gonna take it yet. No, but, Dara but that is might take. No, Dara is looking. There it is. The dash. Dash Shack is gonna clinch out that last stock. Uh, call on his winners run stock. Yeah, could go into losers after this. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Let's see how this Dara, goes. Dara stops him from doing something stupid. We got a grab. Mm, wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> sure. Ooh, the roll. Uh, Call is, yeah, that, that's the first hit Call has landed in, in a, while, a yeah. little while, like 30 seconds or something Gone crazy. Gone for a couple of dry spells, yeah. Yeah, we in a, we in a drought. We not eating out here today. <laughs> <laughs> Call oh. fans straight starving. <laughs> Fair. To the fair. <laughs> yeah, neg negative on the hit, so it doesn't connect. But oh. then Call doesn't punish. Call wanted the up tilt to see. Is that the dumb shit before the actual kill? Is that the, is that the, oh. that the dumb stuff? Is, is the, as the prophecy foretold, you know, I pondered my orb. <laughs> and now. Orb inspected, yep, that's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an orb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dara, though, at ledge. And that oh. is gonna take it with, I think. Call's favorite move. I think we all. It's <laughs> like I think if you tell me someone has used a Palutena side B, I'm gonna statistically it's gonna be Call. You know, explosive flame, my beloved. Yeah. <laughs> There's up, explosive flame yeah. again. Opens up your heart-shaped <laughs> locket and it's explosive <laughs> flame right there beside a picture of Call. <laughs> One true love, everybody. Call the locket and explosive on the flame at extreme heats. Right, right, right. You got explosive flame that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call out a six seventy percent deficit. Let's see. If they can pull this back, but that's nothing for Paolo. That's just, nothing. Just, just get one combo in. Just, just, just get in. <laughs> just get it on Dara. Just do it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's, that's looking a, that's better. One. 
Just six more of those. But Dara just said uh, no combo. Yeah, no, com no combo today. No combo. He, just, he gets to play running away now because yeah. he has a two-minute oh, timer. Oh, wow. And he has a 60% pers lead. You're right. Do you think we're going to go to time? No, but like Dara just doesn't have to commit as much. He has to make yeah, combo right. come in. So I think that's going to put Dara in the ascendancy. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I am starting to think that we might oh. have a call loser's run, but let's see if he can change this up. Feel Maybe like, oh. if he just gets a strong hit in, yeah, he might be able to reverse this whole situation, but he keeps getting caught by those. At ledge, ledge trumped into the forward air. Oh, there's and the that's going to take it. Back air. Very, very clean game from the two of them. Um, Dara should be very proud, yeah. Dara should be very happy with himself. And we're going to see Cahill go in through a hype losers run. Yeah. I wonder who they'd have to play in losers. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um. <laughs> Freedom, says Sarah Inches. Well, so far, the losers games have all been played. Oh, so, okay. Uh, Fantalid beat Skippy Rook 2 1, which is pretty Wow. Uh, Scarfell beat Dobbs. That's a shame. I would have liked to see Dobbs, but I'm very I happy mean, Scarfell yeah. won. <laughs> uh, James 102 beat Lemon. Lemon, I hadn't heard of before this. But Never. They played really well. Really? Yeah. Um, Hackle Serpent beat Harther 1 0. Okay. 1 0. 1 0. Did Harther DP maybe? Just beat him so hard, <laughs> he just got like got knocked out in real life and had to DQ, I guess. 107 beat Manny Moo. Iyer beat Seal. Colm beat Michael. That's pretty big. That is big. Wow. Big fish, rep. And Brian beat Popstar 2 0. And uh, up next on the stream setup, we're going to have Dimitri versus Sassy Priest. Our Piranha Plant versus Ike mains. Hype, let's go. Dimitri really is um, somebody who came up out of nowhere, went 0-2 at Unification, our last big major before quarantine. Went away during Wi-Fi to the mountains. Grinded up, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> found yeah. a little cabin in the woods, yeah, found yeah. a sensei on a waterfall, and, uh, and taught him the secrets of Patui. Yeah, somehow learned how to become the greatest piranha plant that the world has ever seen, really. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anybody can match that claim. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, nobody else has won an Asma monthly with piranha plant. No, and that's like the most prestigious thing you could do. That is exactly what my point. But Next Sassy like, Priest is no slouch. Like, that's functionally winning an Olympic medal. I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna uh, swap my mask real quick. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I, I think Owen is definitely a player who, um, who's, who's stuck to Ike since Smash 4, which I respect a lot, and uh, has, has shown some really good performances today. He beat Michael, and uh, Michael is no easy win. So um, I would expect him to, to give Dimitri problems, but Dimitri's plant is just an absolute... Uh, it's a problem for everyone who plays it, because Patui, because of the Poison Cloud, because of Denvi, all of his special moves are just pain to yeah. play around, especially if you've never played a plant this good before. If we're writing a bingo bingo sheet, yeah. and we have it a uh, three by three, in the middle it's a free square, uh, and we got uh, Dimitri side B stalling in the air into a drag down there, <laughs> right? We've got Patui frame three coming out, basically an anti-air, right? We've got... <laughs> Dimitri's <laughs> loving this. Yeah, we've got... Uh, <laughs> I was not aware the players could hear us. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dimitri just looking so so happy there. Such a cheery little boy, you know. Yeah. Just, uh, he's looking like he's having a great time up there. We got. Uh, we're gonna see Plant um, hovering a Patui while he hangs just below the ledge and of then course. recovers because if Plant isn't dead, Plant can make it back to the ledge for some reason. Doesn't need it. Plant recovery uh, is so. It's stupid. ridiculous. <laughs> it's based. It's like King K rules and. But Runny Man Seven. Runny Man Seven though. Let's go. Sounds like a mobile game from 2014. <laughs> we got Owen, Sassy Priest, Rinny Man 7. Let's see how he does against the As One Arena champion. I don't think he's played against Dimitri yet. He has not. Yeah, so this will be an interesting one because everybody's first game against Dimitri is often very fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, they have to quit. And I guess Owen just didn't like the matchup and has disqualified, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Dimitri might have been having controller problems. He looked a bit confused with the controller earlier, so mm -hmm. we might have to fix that up. Right. Or we're just going back in. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, it's button check, maybe? But no, they did, they attack. I don't know. It, it looks like there's something going on, but whatever. Um, well, for now, anyway, we're just going to... Uh, the crowd are getting... 
excited. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> things are heating up in the in the venue. Looks like we got um, uh, just doing at the setup, you know, just chilling. Yeah. Oh, giving a bit of something to something to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Play with against the CPU, Owen. Go on, give the fans what they want. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, imagine if you had an amiibo. Just pull out an amiibo and start playing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like this. <laughs> Throw it on big battlefield. <laughs> oh. You the stream no won't let you see. <laughs> They're shielding you from it. Here we are, Owen against Mega Man, <laughs> Bayonetta, and Joker. His demons. <laughs> man's he needs fighting to for practice in. Yeah, man's fighting for his life out here. Oh my god, the big K roll. Oh! And. Looks like Joker won that one. Good job, Joker. Everyone give a round of applause to Joker. Owen couldn't do it. He couldn't hack all he, that. He couldn't know? cut it. He just had to quit. Yep. And you know what they say? Quitters. Quitters. Yep, I was hoping you'd have something. No, I just think it's pretty cool we both said quitters at yeah, the same time, and that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> quitters. <laughs> quitters, man, you would not exactly. believe. <laughs> you get it. Anyway, we're going to be playing with four additional CPUs today. Yeah. It's a, just it's spectators. It's a yeah, 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 we got some, spec we got some Wi-Fi players. We're going to put them on CPU level zero, so <laughs> they just stand there. We've got some Wi-Fi players. Roadblocks. They're spectating by watching the game while being in it and just sitting at ledge. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> they get to sit in their shield. All right, let's go see this how this goes. This is the, the real start of the game. Yep. The question is, uh, of course, Whoops. can uh, Owen Sassy Breeze deal with Patui? Yep. Patui is the big one. It, uh, like, that move is just so useful. And there we go, already getting around it at ledge. Yep. That's going to um, be the big one. If you want to hear some of my other predictions for the Plant Bingo card, there's um, <laughs> uh, winning, the, winning the game by a Patui trade. Oh. Uh, <laughs> there is shield break with down B. Bonus point if hidden in poison cloud. If hidden in poison, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, got yeah. that's a different one. That's a oh, of course. Hiding in poison cloud into down B. Yes, that's the classic. Yep, mm -hmm. that's the day one piranha plant combo. Oh, that's a big side B. <laughs> oh, but doesn't Ooh. make it to the ledge. Unfortunate. That is you know, very you, unfortunate. You can only up B out of side B if you hit it, if you connect it. Otherwise, oh, really? yeah. Oh, but I think I did know that. But yeah. yeah, you'll be put into special fall otherwise. And then, the question is, uh, yeah, no, there we go. Yeah. I was about to say, are, I, yeah. are I Owen's I conversions good enough to take plants life early? Because oh, hell yeah, they are. They can just delete stocks. I can just really just turn off an entire stock if he really need, wants to. Like, you know, you've got that. your ridiculous hit kill confirms. You've got yeah, your, yeah. your nares into your up airs at, like, something so, sh like, low, like 80, 90 mm. even. Yeah. And the windows are also so generous, too. The upbeat um, kills are in 110, 120. Yeah, right? so yeah, they, um, they, what are they, they removed, um, they made upbeat worse in some way, but also made it better. Yeah, it has like a better kill chance now. Yeah, but else. I think it comes out slower or something. Yeah. I think the thing about this matchup is. Wow, do you see that? That just deleted that stock. Yeah. yeah. Because I, as soon as Ike's off stage, you may as well say goodbye to the stock. Mm -hmm. uh, like Owen is very good with his recoveries for Ike, but <laughs> still an Ike recovery. Uh -huh. And it could still be very much gotten at, like we saw with the first stock that he lost. But uh, he's just doing so well at taking the stocks even when he is on stage, though. It doesn't seem to matter too much. Yeah. But he's side piece directly into that. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying, you were saying, King? <laughs> uh, but I think Ike is so edge guardable with Patui, though. Yeah. So, like, um, um, I, I mean, I say that, but it just looks like he just teleported straight through it right there. <laughs> It's just something you have to learn to get used to, and I think Owen's going to get used to it as we go through the game. Mm -hmm. But it is going, it's its just a hassle how many moves you can throw out to just make your recovery harder. Yeah. And it feels like there's been some weird DI on these kills. So super far. weird, right? I yeah, was just thinking about that. Just, it feels like they, some of these moves shouldn't have killed him. <laughs> Maybe. Um, um, but but I don't, what would I know? What? That's why we're, they're up there and we're down here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> these downbees, it's like. It feels like he's just warding him away from jumping in, but yeah, he's not. Owen's not trying to jump in. He's just waiting <laughs> beside this that downbees and then mm -hmm. punishing, which I really like so far. I really think, um, like at the very start of this, we saw, like just like our we got a really early kill, and I was thinking, oh, how <laughs> <laughs> kills that? <laughs> good to know. I did not know that that I would work like that. That's very very good. Did you see that hit screen? <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. <laughs> 
<laughs> if we can expect more of that, then Damn. this is going to be a good set. We're going to have a good time today, boys. We got yeah. a good set ahead of us. It is 1 0 right now to Sassy Freeze with Ike playing as Runny Man 7. Dimitri's counter picking up to Onnit. Hmm. Crazy. Very interesting. I Reset think... bomb first, maybe. <laughs> You know, we should make Skyworld legal. Yo, can you imagine the, the flying man meta? <laughs> imagine uh, not being able to recover because the, the ledge wasn't broken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that stage is weird. <laughs> I uh, Owen taking the first game in that set, though. Like, very quick game. Like, But, like, yeah. like all of all the five stocks taken, they were all bang, bang, bang. Taken so quickly, like... Mm -hmm. Maybe Dimitri's gonna have to regret that Demi Free tag. You True. Know? Maybe he's a bit overzealous in his own abilities. Mm -hmm. He gave me a look as I said that. <laughs> I forgot he could hear me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm sure he, I can't shake that man. Yeah. I don't know. Have you have you played Fire Emblem Heroes? From what we've seen, Ike is free as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Fire Emblem Heroes. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Dimitri's backing up some percent quickly here, though. Yeah, that's the key. And there's just those c confirms, though, that Nair is so good. Oh, but there's the trade. Yeah. But not going to take it because plants are heavy. Never mind. <laughs> I spoke way too soon. Like up airs. Oh, my God. Commentator's curse, baby. It's just Look at shield Oh, damage. my God. Jesus. Just shielding the Patooies works until it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> that was looking very dangerous. He just hit the Patooie away from him. That's so funny. little fun bit of trivia for you, um, if you didn't know. Ike's uh, side B. You know, mm -hmm. like his slash. Yeah. As soon as he lands on the ground, he no longer, he has no lang landing lag and he can just act. Really? There is not a single frame of landing lag. That's very strange. Crazy, right? But he has to start it in the air. He doesn't yeah. on the ground, there is. And you the would fair, not- The fair takes it. Wow, oh this God. is- Like I knew Plant struggled against swords, but I don't know, Dimitri seemed to have absolutely no hassle against it. Yeah. During, um, when, like just during as an arena. Well, please. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that air dodge. I mean, <laughs> very unfortunate not to actually grab the ledge. Yeah, not a big deal. I mean, yeah, he was already at, what, 160? Every stock you lose like that, though, is just. Yeah, and it shame. feels bad, but I don't think uh, I don't think it's going to make or break the set. Mm. It's doing so well in neutral right now, uh, uh, Sassy Priest here. Just. Uh, it's just, oh, yeah. uh, just so much uh, damage mm -hmm. off little strings. And he's very good at getting into those little strings and getting out. Hi, I'm, I'm interested to see if. Plant can figure out, or Dimitri can figure out how to. Oh, nice. Oh, big catch. Because I don't know he just seems to get calling out by those, those strain airs that just confirm into literally imagination, right? Mm. Uh, you hit it and a hit as Ike, you could just say big what? Tui. That killed. Wow. And Plant's only at 50. This is very doable for Dimitri. 100% doable. The crowd on his side as well. The crowd on his side. What? Well, great to see the crowd on his side. I think Dimitri's very quickly become like a fan favorite yeah. in the community just because man, man's playing piranha oh, big plant. Big catch of the downbeat. Yep. I think uh, the, th the and he's eating it up. Yeah, always Andy. a big bonus to have in the in the crowd is Michael, because Michael is like a whole crowd by himself. Yeah, <laughs> which is just incredible. Man's voice can resound with those of a hundred. Like yeah. Oh, Dimitri went for something there. Yeah. I like that. Plan so many stall tools. You know, like Patui yeah. stalls, side B stalls, down B stalls. Oh, that first um, gets. You can just easy. hover in the air for as long as you want. The question is now, though, like, yeah, Dimitri now has so many options. They're both at kill percents. Can, who can get the hit in first? Just the up tilt from ledge there. <laughs> the Patui! The, the ledge grab staling. Oh, no. The ledge grab staling is going to take it. The very well played by Dimitri. Very good comeback. Very, very good. Was yeah. down an entire stock. Mm -hmm. Was that, like, um, like, had, like, 50% and Sass Priest had, like, 50 as well, a stock up. Yeah. And then just, just clawed it back. Yeah. It's played very, very well. Very impressive. Now, where does Sassy Freeze counter it to? Oh, Smashville. We're going off to the Animal Crossing stages. Hell yeah. I haven't yeah. seen too many of them today. It's just been a lot of battlefields and PS2s and mm -hmm. the like. It's nice to escape our comfort zone, you know? But, uh,. I guess it, the question now is, can Owen uh, come back from that loss? Which I definitely think he's strong enough to do. But Dimitri's growing into this game, so it's, it's, it's a really interestingly poised game at the minute. I like that word, poised. Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited to, I'm excited to see this. Like, uh, oh, there it was, the, uh, <laughs> the, the, Patui the, the Patui. 
as basically an anti-air because it comes out yeah. so early. So much damage already. Um, there ah, goes, and that's like, just not going to connect to the ledge. That's so unfortunate. Uh, uh, I, think, yeah. I think Sassy Priest has a really strong mental game, though. I don't think yeah. he's going to be, you know, I don't think he's going to be crying about it, right? Very. <laughs> I think we all thought that was an up B and not a down B <laughs> yeah. from Plant coming out there. <laughs> but, you know, Dimitri knows just his character. Charge the just charges it, and Dimitri says, I don't care. <laughs> and just I clank the down B, <laughs> of course. The up air, the Patui's raining down, the down B's, yep. everything. He's allowed. Plant has so many options just to get back down off the, <laughs> his disadvantage. The dash tag almost killing, wow. Crazy. This Ike guy is, you know, he's built. Just Ike, just Ike. He's just so strong. Oh, big F tilt. Nice. There we go. Wow. Um, keep, keeping in mind that Sass Priest died at zero, uh, just for, or like basically zero from an ST. Yeah. That's a really strong comeback. Um, Ooh, nice if you just play like that, like he had to just there to get back from that SD, the whole time, he'd mm. be doing great. Yeah, maybe the problem is he's getting too many leads, you know? Maybe he just wants <laughs> to play from behind. <laughs> maybe he should just throw away his stock at the start of every game. Yeah, that's what I do most of the time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we saw the side B as a sm smoke screen to do a Patui yeah. from behind it again. I mean, we definitely have bingo by now. <laughs> uh, 100%. 100%. Like five yeah. times over. Oh, the grab. To roll in from it. <laughs> oh, we're missing is a is a shield break. I, uh, I feel like we'll get one at some point. Oh, the fair just taking that, and now I can yeah. lead. I can lead, but only barely. Midri can close out this top pretty quickly. What thought before this game that I can lead would have been a rarer sight than this, but it's happened in every game so far. Yep, that's crazy. Oh, the downbeat, just doing shield damage. Oh, nice two. Tui. It's just so many options for this plant. Plan plan. Really is. But his grab is so small. Yeah. It's a wee farm. <laughs> it's so weedy. <laughs> oh, just having to play around this big sword. This big man with this big sword. Big man, big sword on campus. Yeah. Oh, big Batui catch, though. Big Batui says, I see you, and I'm catching it. But, but that dash act's going to not I take it. take it. Wow. Man hit a home run. Go Mets. But doesn't 20. take it. <laughs> Love the Mets, baby. Go Mets. <laughs> Go Mets. Love the Mets. Hit a home run. He got 25% off that dash stack as well, because he just stood in the poison cloud after expecting yeah, it to kill. That's <laughs> I unfortunate. That. I hope that doesn't come out to bite him in the ass, but yeah. it might just do. Well, <laughs> if he loses because of an extra 25% that was added <laughs> on, I, will, I would be so sad for oh, him. I would, it would be unfortunate. It would. But oh, that big. Grab. Oh, it's a very Ooh. close here. You have to. I would have thought that would have killed, honestly. Surprise. Is the going to catch? No, the downbeat's down going to catch him. Every time he goes to the downbeat when you think, oh, well, he's dead if he doesn't go for an upbeat. Yeah. Wow. Look at that damage. That's equalized, basically. Like, at this point, yeah. any other damage is... Like, the only thing Plant needs now is an up throw kill. And that's the oh only gosh. reason you need to deal damage with Plant right now. Everything else will Ooh, just kill. That was really smart from Owen there from ledge. That was so unfortunate, because, like, that was so close. To that, to just catching him yeah. with that downbeat. Yeah. But he just gets the angle wrong and gets slammed with the sword for it. <laughs> that big slam dunk, yeah. Yeah. It was a really smart air dodge for him to get back to ledge in the first place there as well, just to big get time. around the Patui. Because it's it's a really it's a really hard game to get around all these plant options at ledge. But Owen's doing a good job of it so far. Because there's so many plant options. That's there, all of his options. Are. Yeah. All of his options are ledge options. His character is um it's interesting seeing uh <laughs> How many options he has? You, you wouldn't have thought that he has, he has, he has so much, just, just so, so much many, to offer. Yeah, but he does. And now he makes it's, for this some fun games. It's potentially, you know. Yep. Last I, game I for winter side. Possibly. Dimitri. Well, maybe not. Maybe That's not, but it's potentially. Potentially, it's potentially. Possibly. I mean, starting off strong with a two move, thirty-four percent. Yeah. Plant hits pretty hard. Plant hits like a truck. Yeah. Oh, catch the patoo. He's unfortunate yep. there. <laughs> like to play around uh, it so Dimitri, much. That's another thing to add to the bingo card if we're extending it by like a single square is Dimitri going down smash, uh, spot dodge into like another down smash or an up tilt or something. That up tilt is Man's getting loves a those mileage. Smash hits, uh, those spot dodges. I really don't like the up tilt animation. Oh, it, it reminds me of uh, Wario's wobble animation. Do you ever yeah. get that? <laughs> <laughs> Unsettling. Owen's actually doing very well off ledge here, which yeah. I wouldn't have thought is a thing that would happen in a, in a matchup against Piranha Plant, who's just 
very good at getting back to stage. Yeah, just because you have so much setup, setup options. To yeah. Oh, well, that's very. I think they were living, but then they also air dodged, and that just killed them. Yeah. You gotta be so careful with that's air a dodging. Good trap though. Because at certain percents, air dodging will save you, but at other percents, it will just kill you. But that's not Ooh. close enough. All and those we Patooies are even. there from Dimitri were very smart, just to force uh, oh, uh, Ike into yeah. making decisions. You know. We're two stocks apiece right now, and it's we are. so even. Uh, and that's gonna sense. Ike's gonna land with his his whole ass on that Patooie, <laughs> and man, very unfortunate, very <laughs> spiky. Oh, it's just racking up damage, though. Yep. It's just so much damage, so, so much output. Much, yeah. Uh, what he lacks in, you know, confirms into strong kill moves, like kill confirms and combos. Plant just has that in raw kill potential and yeah. setups. And you can't hold ledge there. You just can't. You don't have that privilege at the, in this matchup. But getting up from ledge can be no fun. And Dimitri says, I have seen you do that yeah. so many times. This time, I am catching it. I know the angle. Oh, wow. Out of that smoke screen, we've had that that Tom and Jerry looking ass a smoke screen. <laughs> we a tumble happens inside, and this time Ike gets goat flying out of it. I love that. I love the the smoke screen coming up, and then one of them just yeah, flying, out. flying out. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Who's to say? <laughs> All we can tell is that percent happened. Yep. Um, oh, the grab missing. Just every time you're considering entering the smoke screen to for a tumble, just remember that for every time you've done that, plant mains have done it like a thousand times. Yeah. So just pick your battles. Yeah, they, they were born in it. <laughs> I was born in the smoke screen, and I'll die in the smoke screen. <laughs> the question really is just, how do you bring this back as I? Yep. You just have to get a quick so just, up air. Yeah, you just keep doing that, you just keep DPing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but there's some up air? Wow. We got a game five situation. Let's go. Dimitri definitely, he's just looking really, as these games go, every time Owen shows him something I can do. He's like, all right, now I know this. You're not going to do it again. Yep. Um, and he gets a few, <laughs> like, uh, for the most part, Dimitri seems to be running out of tricks. He seems mm. to be going for just, like, actual playing the game. I don't want to say honest, because I think that's uh, not necessarily a correct term yeah. for a uh, plant main. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who can take it, who can continue their winner's run, and who's getting sent... To loser side, I feel like top 24. In terms of, in terms of plant mains, Dimitri would be as honest as he could get. You know what? I think that's probably fair. Yeah. Um, you only have, you only see so many tricks coming out, like, yeah. uh, and they're they're all the ones that seem to work. You know, it's not yeah, just yeah. unfair. Counter was very <laughs> That's an option. <laughs> I respect that. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it, it was it was probably uh, he was he was seeing a possible future. <laughs> it would have been cool, but but now he's just accepted 45 percent for trying yep. it. Oh, oh, the launch landing, on that upbeat. Landing into that poison cloud, though, and taking 20% for it. He's finally figured out how to win the tussles in the smoke screen. Yeah. <laughs> Tom and Jerry style. Oh, the Patooies are everywhere, though. Having to play around this stage where there's always a Patooie around. Yeah. Nice Nair catching the... Um, yeah. uh, just, just catching the jump, sending him off straight screen. But it's not like Plant is too bad in these close range kind no, of he's not. Uh, brawls. That's the problem is that uh, I can just kind of keep him at a little further than close range. Yeah. You know? A perfect sweet spot. Yeah, not too bit. far away for the Patooies to just rain down or the Downbees, mm -hmm. but not you, you close see? range for the... Oh. oh, the armor just running out on that. That is very unfortunate timing, yeah. But uh, it's it's just, again, great play from Dimitri. Great yep. great uh, spacing with his, uh, his Patooies, with his yep. all of his ranged attacks. He's very good from range. We got two stocks apiece again, but this time Dimitri is looking very confident. I know he's in disadvantage right now, but in terms of... Oh <laughs> <so he laughs> the just Patooie just falling. Just like dribbling out of the plant's mouth, the Patooie. <laughs> oh, the grab it you ledge. You dropped this, so King. Up, oh. it's very smart air dodge. It's very clean. It's it's as even of a, as it's ever been. Uh, I'm, I mean, Sassacris looking really strong right now. Yeah, but it's... The, just the weight turn around F tilt, oh my god. <laughs> what, what kind of option was that? I mean, <laughs> he's in Dimitri's head, I guess. I guess so. He, his brain has just expanded over the course of this fight. Can Dimitri take the advantage save from the Angel platform and convert that oh, no. into oh. a oh. equalizing game? Oh, misjudging that side B. It's 
that's really... Can he equalize here without taking more damage? Ooh, getting over the Patui, but now you're back at ledge again. There's a bit Very oh clean Oh my confirmed. god. <laughs> that was like a meat roller shot put move. Yeah. That was insane. Yeah. Um, Just as a choice to make, like, I'm going to Patui grab up throw. <laughs> yeah, I'm surely Patui just would have killed on its own. I, fe I felt, yeah, but... I, I mean, he was grabbing because it might have been shielded, you know? Yeah, yeah, but still, that is... Getting Very some uh, some poison into the Ike as he descends into it, uh -huh. but this is looking really strong for Ike right now for Assassin's Creed. Let's see if they can pull it back. I'm not sure. You just need to get it Ike into disadvantage oh. once, yep. and then you get 100% onto him. <laughs> Here it is. Whatever what Ike's known for, these conversions. Oh, getting around the Patui. Nice. Nice. Just waiting. Just waiting. Just waiting. Just <laughs> the F tilt yeah. again. He did it again. We have Charging the, uh, the neutral B. The neutral kills. No. We have not seen a single neutral B come out this entire game. And when it matters, and only when it matters, Sasfried comes out and closes out the stock. I don't think a single person would have said before this event, Sasfried's going to beat Dimitri 3 2. No. That's insane. Like, just beat Dimitri at all. Dimitri coming here as one of the favorites for the whole tournament. 100%. Um, um, crazy. Absolutely exceptional gameplay from both these players. Yeah. Now? Going? All right. Cool. Three so, more games. Yeah. Uh, soft, soft to us. Do a soft to us so we can say. Mm. So, guys, we're going to have to take a... So, we're going to take a two-minute break, and we'll be back with some new commentators. I think we have John Barrett and Hammer on with you, so some of our best on. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure mm -hmm. uh, commenting for you guys. Uh, follow me on Twitter, please. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to follow me. It's I gotta get, I'm not getting paid. I want to be paid follow in clout him. at least. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, thanks so much, guys, for <laughs> Thank tuning you. in. Thank you very much. And it's great Ed, fun. It's been a pleasure. Mm -hmm. See you.
Let's get hype in here. Yeah. Yo. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Celtic Throwdown. Top, we're top 16, top 12-ish Yeah, area. so at the moment, I think everybody is either ninth place or above. Uh, the majority of our sets will be top eight qualifiers from the loser side, but oh. I think we have one remaining set, which will be a winner side qualifier. That's and there may be some off-stream sets, but we'll see about that. That's super, super exciting to see. I think uh, so far, there have been so, so many good games, so many upsets. Yeah. Uh, Sassy Priest beating Dimitri just there. That, that's huge. That was insane. Yeah. That's there's so many like seeding upsets, but at the yeah. same time, the level of talent is just increasing so fast. You can't keep up. You really can. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, players like Mythical making some really big... Um, that, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed uh, my Twitter right, handle. Yeah, no, it's great. It looks good. It looks good on you. Yeah? Yeah. No, that's, that's a great look for you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> At the moment, I believe we're setting up for Antu versus, is that John? That is John. That, that is, is John exclamation mark. Yes. That Slightly is, more excited. That's not just John. <laughs> it's John. It's John. You know, it's important. You yeah. got to you gotta say it with some gusto. <laughs> for sure. John. Okay. At the moment, we're looking like we're getting Wario versus Dark Samus Ooh, now. Ooh, Dark Samus. That's not even the real Samus. Maybe it's... Oh. There we go! Oh, oh. yeah! Oh. Yeah! Oh. Come on! It's a roller coaster around here. It's a <laughs> it's, it's an roar! I forgot that these players can hear us now. We do have <laughs> the speaker. It is. Yo, yeah. We can say whatever we want. Everyone in this venue can hear us. <laughs> Definitely. That's yeah. some pretty strong power right there. We're just gonna get into it, I guess. So this is a match that we have seen before at other tournaments, but this is Celtic Throwdown, and this is gonna mean a lot. The winner of this is gonna be moving on to winner side top eight. Woo! But that is not it for the loser of this. We still have up to five more games now. This players. is yeah. this is an important match. Be on the winner side of top eight. It's so huge. So huge, especially at this scale of a tournament. It's been insane so far. I just can't wait to see the rest of the yeah. games. Oh, down here, not going to quite hit there. Yeah, we're getting off to a pretty fast start. Now, both of these characters are very capable of playing defensively, but the damage that they deal when they do get in is absolutely incredible. Absolutely you know. huge punish games, yeah, on Dark Samus and on the Wario as well. Here we see all the, you know, zoning here from Anto. Yeah. Going to... It's going to be a large, you know, part of this gameplay, I'd say, because once Wario gets in, you do get those huge combos with that up yeah. air, that nair. And a bit later on, we're going to get that waft, which is going to be scary now, luckily for Antu. That is not online at the moment. John doing a really great job here of just weaving in and out of those projectiles. Ooh, gets caught by one there. Yeah, what I've noticed so far is that uh, he's very much not willing to jump. He's just been sticking in shield and being very confident that he's not going to poke or anything, but that oh. could come to bite him soon. And that just bit him right there. You yeah. saw it get grabbed, but no big punish there from Anto. Like Drop now, Anto does have, you know, fully charged charge shot here on deck at 84% on the ledge. That could be really, really big. Yeah, playing around the ledge there because any reversal situation could mean a charge shot killing, but at the same time, you don't want to be at the ledge at Wario's with Wario against you, especially John's Go Wario. Yeah. Oh, not going to quite catch. Oh, there it goes. It's nice not going to kill. Shot. Not quite. Incredible DI oh there. Just knowing exactly which angle to go at. Oh. The charge shot doesn't hit that ledge. This Ando just believing in that one. Not quite, though. Not yet. Oh, weak dash stack. That would have killed if it was strong, I believe. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, well it did kill. Hey, okay. Hey, here we go. Weak dash stack. Killing Wario at 100. Knows more than us, I guess. Yeah. Oh, wait. Did he get the reverse hit box of fair? That's so weird. Oh, I didn't know fair could hit you that way. Yeah, it's quite a weird move, but... Okay, a dash attack maybe is what John's looking here for. Yeah, yeah down, down tilt dash attack. That's All the, the way Wario. The stage, though. Do the Wario. Da, da. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think that's how it goes. Oh, down there, that's oh, the down there, yeah. Sure. Absolutely. 34% here on Wario. John, how are you feeling quite good about ending that stock really early? Yeah, and especially now that Waft is online because the next neutral interaction could be the stock for Andrew. But getting in is going to be the issue because this zoning game is so strong, not just for Samus, but, you know, Anto. It's no it's problem for John here. You see, yeah. <laughs> Anto just shot four missiles and a charge shot, and John just waited there and had it. Yeah. 
Oh. Lots of hype in the background for other games, but now we're watching this one here. Okay, ledge trap for Samus. This ledge trap Happy? is so oh. scary with the charge up, but John yeah. managed to just regular get up at the right timing and a trade. We'll I get so scared every time anyone up B is underneath PS2. PS2 just known for, you know, that pineapple effect. Yeah, it is quite difficult to recover sometimes, but uh, both these characters do actually have very strong recoveries, mm. I'd say. Yeah. But also very strong edge guard capabilities, you know, Wario with that drift, Samus with the charge shot, those long lasting yeah. moves like oh. that forward air to anti air. That forward air doing a lot of damage. Oh, that down tilt, not quite going to make it, but up, up smash. smash! Very good call out there with the up smash. Would have covered the jump, but it covered the roll, I believe it was. Either way, it takes the stock. Now, uh, John down to his last stock. It is only game one, though, so this could be just used to figure out habits to see what works, especially, you know, towards the ledge on a big stage like this. Yeah. And to trying to get back on stage. Ooh, finally makes it. The LP is going to whiff. Maybe expecting John to just hop in, get impatient, but I know John to be a very patient player, and yes. it will pay off in the long run, but at the moment, it's going to be taking some damage, and to retreating to the ledge with that back oh, air back is going to take, take it. it. Oh. Very even so far. Actually, really the waft nice is done. still online, I realized. Yeah, no, Walk is online, so this could just be a quick bread and butter warrior combo, and you're gone. With the character, you know, missiles. at an awkward floatiness of uh, Samus, it's just right for uh, Samus, uh, for Wario to get that combo off. Yeah, and John very much knowing is confirmed, so this could oh, be big. That's it! No! Oh, that's a kill! Still at the ledge, wow. though, so this is huge for John in the percent lead. Yeah. In the lead, but now off stage. Let's see here, Anto going to try to ledge trap. Oh, gets gets with the charge shot. shot. It's not going to kill just yet, but 115%. The next one surely will. See here, John's uh, shield looking pretty low there. You see him angling it whenever he stops. Yeah, that is incredibly good, though, because it is something you can do in this game with the macro. So ensuring you don't get shield poked is pretty big. And you can use it for some slight positioning, but I'm sure John is just making sure he doesn't get hit by yeah. a big charge shot. Oh, gets hit by that forward air, though. And a ledge, uh, edge trap, ledge trapping opportunity. Very long charge on the down smash, but it doesn't even connect. But the oh. charge on dash attack isn't going to kill either. We get Not another fake enough. kill screen. There have been so many fake kill screens and today. That's I can't take it. Oh, my God. Game Good. one goes to Antu. Yeah. Let's give it up for Antu. Brilliant. Yeah, already, well you know, these these games, they feel like they mean so much, and they do. They really do. We have, you know, these best of five sets. These are, this is like all of the top talent in Ireland right now, and we are looking for them to not only say, hey, it's 2021, we're out of lockdown, we're back offline, this is what I can do. Yeah, no, it's because it's a mix, again, I've said this before, of you know, players from before the pandemic and now the new players who have developed yeah. their skills online. And it's just incredible to see all of this come together and all the different, you know, dynamics and all of the different rivalries that you can have. You know, we, we talked before about, you know, the matchups between the players, not just the characters, but the players. Yeah, yeah. And we've got a third player in this. <laughs> <laughs> they went out of their way to go into the menu <laughs> to try and, di like, disconnect that controller. Yeah. Please disconnect your controllers after you've played. <laughs> Just the PSA. You can connect it to your phone, <laughs> and then it won't connect to the Switch again. It's not rocket science. All right, here we go. Game two. PS2. Same stage. Yeah. I think both players are quite happy to play on this stage, but I imagine in a matchup like this, it is very much based on who gets the lead. Of course, yeah. Sam is very, very well known for having a strong zoning game, but Wario, able to play with the timer so well. Now, I know John uses the timer so much to his advantage, not just with Waft, but as a resource, yeah. almost like any other resource in the game. But it's a bit more meta than that, I guess. But Imagine it will be very much it really hard on. for John to get in with all the missiles, but John just jumps over them, lets one or two hit them. It doesn't really matter because, you know. Yeah. As long as he's getting the Waft and as long as he's not dying from it, exactly. that's all you need. Exactly. You have three stocks, you can lose two of them. You can, you can afford to take a bit of damage in order to get in, get a quick combo on. And he even ate that super missile right there. Really well done. Yeah, you heal it oh. back. And you do get a bit of waft charge from the super missiles, I believe, from any uh, thing that you eat. You do get a couple of seconds, or I'm not sure the exact amount of time. Either way, Anto does have to be careful of that because, you know, oh, waft nice any there. sooner can pretty much just mean death. Carried there, just the end of the forward air. Didn't really get anything off it, though. Nice back air. Very nice back here. 
commentary special, nice back air. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the Samus Fair from Night, that was a very good up smash, just barely didn't connect because of Wario's aerial drift, which is a huge aspect of this matchup, you know, being able to drift in over the missiles, yeah. being able to run in under them. Ooh. Another up smash attempt, it did work out in the last game, but a couple of whiffs this game. Uh, oh, almost hits him with the bike there, Wario. Ooh. Yeah. Really close. That bike is such a good tool for ledge trapping. It's not one you think about until you get hit by it. Jab into grab. Yeah, you know the jab combo isn't necessarily true, so jab to grab can be a good mix-up. Um, just charging charge shot. These Zairs are so safe. They're and they so keep, scary. Yeah, they keep John at the Downhill distance. Downhill fast pat. That's going to be the first stock. That's and it. that is huge for John because Waft, I, I think Waft's online already. It is a seven-minute game, and it's been it is, yeah, two, two minutes, minutes now. Yeah, That's And I believe it's one minute 50. I think it's... Yeah. Something around there. I, I usually yeah. just call it two minutes, but yeah. yeah it's, it should be online now, so this could be a quick other stock now. Yeah. And then John could start charging another one before you know the last stock's over. Yeah, one thing to note for people who may not necessarily know, uh, you do keep waft between stocks because yes. you know there's a lot of a lot of people watching and I'm very grateful for that. So good to, to take note of that and that will become a big yeah. factor no Absolutely. matter what if happens. Absolutely. If you are watching right now, we thank you so, so much. This is some really, really high level uh, Irish Super Smash Brothers Ultimate play. And uh, we're more than happy presenting this to you today. Graciously by As One. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. And oh, back air. Back, I was back air into the stage and missing the tech. Yeah. Going to go away. Brilliant jobs here from that <laughs> too. It's always <laughs> so good to keep your hands dash warm. Jabbing. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of a grab combo. Yeah. Just gets fared out of it, though. Oh, tried to down air there. That would have taken the stock really early if it disconnect. Oh, oh I miss input? Miss input, maybe, or maybe didn't mean to double jump. I, maybe. I'm not sure either way. You just have to roll with it because yeah. no matter what happens, you have to remember, I'm still in the lead, and no matter what what you know I did, yeah. I can still make a comeback. John didn't need that walk. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't need the last game, didn't need a walk. <laughs> He's just going to take the stock right here, right now. Down tilt dash attack is what he's looking for right now. Now, it does bring up a good point. What options does John have to kill now without Waft? You do have the down tilt dash attack. Maybe chomp at ledge. Maybe just getting a back air edge guard. There's plenty of things that Wario can do, of course, you know, being such a good character. But you do have to be wary of your opponent's uh, kill options. I know Samus's are often based around charge shot and about around ledge traps, but I say John's are as oh, well with the ledge traps, but a dash tack, as we mentioned before, will very much do it. And now Antu down to his last stock. There we go. Antu here just trying to zone out. Be patient. He knows he can take the stock with uh, a well-aimed charge shot, but throws it out there just a bit early. Yeah. The safer that it is to throw it out, the safer it is for the opponent to dodge it because you have that more time to react. And you don't want to keep Wario at you know, too close or at too much of a distance because of that waff charge that is, you know, happening every second. Oh, tries to forward tilt there, not going to quite do it, kid. That shield looking quite small. Yeah, I thought that the grab would actually hit there, but um, not laggy enough. Okay, very good jump in. I saw SBF do that a lot earlier against Skippy Rock, and it was just so good because people do not want to get hit by a landing aerial by uh, Wario, so they hold shield and, of course, shield. get jump. Yeah. The mix-up game for this character is insane and very scary. And the oh, charge shot hits even behind Dark Samus. Dark Samus is so, so stupid. So good, but so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We don't have Waft online, oh. I believe. I can't see the glow. No, but I don't think it is online just yet, but... I, mean, I just remember well, the timer. they threw out Waft. Oh, there's the glow there. It might be on now. It's either on or in half waft. Again, I do not know too much about this character. All I know is it's going to be scary for Andrew in this situation at that 84%. At 84%, even if it's a half waft, that'll do a lot. Mm. And the timer, as I was saying before, the timer is going to be huge. And yeah. a minute 30, that is quite a long game. I believe these are seven minute games, but. These are seven minute games. We're using the uh, Irish rule set, yeah. uh, which uh, is totally not stolen from other countries. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wonder how willing John is to go for a timeout here, because there is no competitive reason not to do it. I think John is more than willing to do this here. Um, he's down a game. And yeah, uh, to bring it back up to that game, yeah. we got. I mean, of taking the stock, of course, would be brilliant, but why put yourself at that risk? Why? Exactly. Yeah. And now just a minute left on the timer. Anto just dashing back and forth, not even going for the grab or anything, just yet, oh. not going for anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, on stage, that could be big. I expected Raw Waft to be honest yeah. there, but um, maybe it would have been oh, a big Oh, nice pair. See here. 
I'm staring at that timer so oh, much. Oh, it's so close. It's only seconds. game two. <laughs> it's going to be a long best of five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, AJ. <laughs> 30 minutes later. Oh, oh here we go. <laughs> One grab on worth is thinking, oh. If Hanto wants this, he's got to do it in the next 30 seconds. He's done nothing in the last Down 30 seconds. Very risky, but it paid off. And oh, the back air. cross up is red with the back air, or react to possibly as well. Yeah. I wouldn't have been able to do that, but 1 1. There we go. So 1 1 now. John with the back air at night, which was very nice. I think if I were to give any one adjective <laughs> to, to that, that back, back air, it would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> back to Pokemon Stadium 2 now. Yeah. yeah, I played against Antu recently at a weekly, and it was just like, yeah, we'll go this stage. Yeah. Seems to be a very safe neutral pick. Lots of space for Samus. Yeah. But also lots of space for Wario. Both of these players like yeah. space and the third player in this okay. tournament. Hey, let's go third player. Let's go. Guys, please disconnect your perfect troubles. Honestly, I kind of want to see the, the true finals to be this uh, <laughs> third player. <laughs> the third player just pops up. 1-1. Uh, 1-1. One, one. One, one. All right, so here we go. Game three. It's one all. And it is best five. So this game may mean a lot in terms of counter picks, but I don't think we're going to see counter picks on stages, so it's just going to be good for the set count, you know, yeah. to be able to have that. Bit of breathing work. I think they're both happy now to be playing on PS2. And, and for a long time that yeah. we see them play on PS2. A bit of a wild read there with the runoff down air. You know, you know, nowhere near that, but hindsight is 2020. Yeah, I think ledge traps are just going to decide yeah. these games who can pull them off more consistently and who can get more from them because both these characters have the tools to do so. Actually, yeah. getting a bit of stage presence finally there. It was stuck on the ledge for a long time. Yeah. It took a lot of damage for it. Exactly, down throw. Sends very nice down to the platform, but that down B from Dark Samus makes the hurtbox so small yeah. and also puts out a hitbox as well. It's like a roll in the air. Exactly. It's um, so, so good. And being able to slide off the platform act again can create some very tricky movement. You know, I've seen that from Antu Samus. I've seen yeah. it from Selkie Samus as well. Um, and it can just make landing so much easier with this character, especially with the floaty mechanics. Oh. So juggling might be a lot more difficult for Wario because of that. Oh, Wario gets the shot out of the charge shot. Him out. Very close margins there. Down tilt? No, F-Tilt trying to go for there. Are we going to see another forward air from Lange, or what's it going to be? No, just jump and does that down beat to I be able to land. Yeah. John's looking for one of like two options. It's uh, forward tilt or back air. Yeah, and he's gonna right he's not gonna try doing anything else in order to take this stock sooner than he needs to. He knows yeah. as long as he keeps this lead, that is his win condition. Those are the only moves you see him kind of throwing out here. You see a little slap, a little head tilt. Up tilt very far away as if that was gonna be a jump in. Just trying to go for that back air again and again. Anto not gonna give it to him. Yeah. I think oh, we'll charge shot into the bike? Yeah, oh, very good to angle it down just to hit on the ledge because you can't angle that F to is a property of a bunch of moves in this game, and yeah. it does pay off there just knowing that, hey, you know, I can hit slightly lower with this. That's why Wario is just so, so good at the ledge. So yeah, many great to. options, including oh, that. Decides to run off to be able to avoid that charge shot, which is probably a very good idea because now John has stage control again, and he's back to where he loves the most. There we go. Clapping on the platform. <laughs> just clap it. Hey, let's go. Yeah. Clap, clap. He wants some applause. <laughs> oh, oh! Gets sniped by that one, and now it is perfectly even again in he's games, in stocks, and in percent. So I call that combo the clap to get clap combo. <laughs> All right. It's wonderful doing Thanks. commentary with you. <laughs> clap to get clap. You just can't beat it. Press go for Nair. Oh, that was oh, a weird slide. That up. was weird, yeah. Yeah, it just looked like a pratfall setup, like yeah. from Smash 4. You'd see that a lot more often because it was untakeable, oh! but that wafted out of the Nair. Lots of damage. Stop killing again. Just Dark Sam is so heavy. Yeah, so floaty, but so heavy. It's it's a weird contrast. It's yeah. a bit like Yoshi, but I'd say even more extreme. Yeah, definitely. Oh, up these early there, which is good. Yeah, John the, the up above the ledge, though, to hold down just to get that up hitbox slightly above the ledge before grabbing it again. Very good game awareness there from John, just to be able to, you know, get some stage control back. Oh, good. Gets hit by that down tilt, but doesn't let John get anything off it. Yeah. That is probably actually good to note because the down tilt may not come before as long due to, you know, the floaty heavy nature of yeah. Dark Sam. It's very good parry on the Zare, but it's so safe that even with a parry, oh. you can't punish. Tries to throw, <laughs> but 
I guess Dark Samus's throw art throws it too high. Yeah, very tall character. Yeah. Okay, yeah, very tall character, so it's probably going to get hit by, you know, Rising Fair, Rising Nair out of shield, so... Oh, that nice. Is quite a good thing for Samus. Nice shot, Anto. Where's the charge shot? Oh, there it there is! Once again, doesn't kill this time. But, I uh, call that the Elite Samus. <laughs> you call it a different name because it didn't kill? <laughs> oh, very good. It was that half waft, I wow, believe, just nice. landing and killing. Yep. That's going to take it 127% here on John, though. It's not going to... You know, can't afford to be hit by anything too strong, including a charge shot. Yeah, one thing I did notice there is that I think John was a bit hesitant to even punish a move, uh, you know, on uh, at a shield because he just wants that Woff to charge up again while he has this stock yeah. to spare. Oh, oh up till, up till hitting hit. below the ledge. It covers jump, it can cover, you know, regular get up, and it hits below the ledge. Yeah. It's so strong. So, so strong. Up tilt, up tilt. That's uh, sorry, up very good up SDI up or just fell out of it. I can't quite tell, but either way, you know, he has got to be very happy yeah. that he didn't take as much damage or maybe... No, nah, it wouldn't have been a stock. It's heavy no, it definitely wouldn't have been a stock that percentage. You can dream. You can dream. Maybe if he held up, you know, straight up, maybe he would have died. But. Yeah. And we're back down to two minutes on the timer again. <laughs> wow. And 44%. There's only 0.2% separating these two fighters right now. Not quite so well, much anymore, but yeah. All right, well, thanks. Maybe John can heal back up for that. All right, dash attack. Back to the platform. Oh, yeah. doesn't hold it for long uh, enough. John has the lead right now, technically. Yeah, because I think if Antu reacts well enough, uh, can punish John for, you know, biting the missile with a charge shot. Yeah. And John is saying, look, I have, you know, 13% over you right oh, now. Oh, not anymore, oh! but a brilliant combo into the charge shot is going to give Andu game three. That was incredible. That reaction. was incredible. I did not expect that to happen at all. Yeah. John was doing such a great job of, you know, avoiding and jumping over all those missiles. Because hit by one of them, all of a sudden you get comboed. Yeah, that's the thing. It's just the character awareness, like knowing uh, once I hit this one move that I'm throwing out constantly, as soon as I hit it, I'm going to throw the charge shot. I'm not wasting it before then, and I'm not going to be hesitant when it happens. Look, that's how it works sometimes. Yeah. All right, they're going right back to it. Game four. Game four. 2-1, Anto. Yeah, and I don't think there's too much to take into this other than, you know, John just saying, got to take the lead early. Yeah. Because if you don't, then there's, n you know, not as much incentive to stay far away. Because Anto probably won't approach. Oh, and here nice we do see that Wario. early lead. <laughs> yes. Early Wario combo. Oh, that could have oh, been very big there. That could have been really huge. Keeps the jump though, so it does survive for now. Very good, we got the transition there. All Full right. screen gaming. There we go. Nice little forward throw there. Gets him off stage. Oh, the F smash out of shield. That's an odd one. Maybe trying to read a roll behind, because I yeah. did see John doing that a couple of times. Uh, very risky read, but... That's something they know about the matchup that we don't, maybe. Yeah, that, these players yeah. are here for a reason. They're <laughs> playing for top eight winner side yeah. for a reason. They Match are up. here to win. Yeah, very much. So with the you know entrance size here, this is going to be a very prestigious tournament to win. Especially with the names that you see Ooh, already there. Not quite going to take it there. Oh, but that back air is going to catch Anto. Jumping off that ledge. Yeah, now I do believe the winner of this set is going to go and play Sassy Priest in top eight. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Because Sassy Priest, uh, who beat Dimitri. Dimitri, yeah, game five is an incredible yeah. set. Much like all the other ones that have been on stream. <laughs> and even some of the off stream ones I have gotten to get a look at. Yeah. yeah, Sassy Priest having a really, really good run today. Yeah. But uh, that's not this match right here. That's not this match, that's yeah. That's not this match. <laughs> here we have a Wario. Oh, tries oh. to go for that missile. It's so charge shot again, but just gets sent a bit too high with that DI yeah. in from John. I think the uh, missile has a separate oh, hitbox as well. Yeah, now with the waft how you get hit by it, yeah. It's incredible. I think that was the jump gun, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, okay, does get to ledge with that bike. Oh, that's scary for Manzu just dashing around and saying, you know, make a move. I dare yeah. you to. <laughs> um, that's the kind of player Anto is, you know, just a little, um, you know, a little, I, I'd almost say arrogant, but like not in a bad way. Yeah, you know? no, in a way that makes you say like, hey, 
you're gonna do something yeah. that shows you're scared because I'm in control. I have the lead in the set. Yeah. And I have a fully charged charge shot. Oh, oh John, that could be huge. Tried to get, uh, you know, tried to catch Anto on that platform, but Anto was already gone. And who doesn't use the bike because probably knows that John knows more than yeah. he does. Uh, just that bike like is just on. eating up those charge shots right now. Yeah. He just keeps throwing it and saying, okay, I can approach because here's a giant shield I keep throwing yeah, at Yeah, like as long as I don't jump over, as long as I'm like running towards it, um, yeah. I can react because, oh. you know, the hit lag. Tries to charge out there again, but could And now has nothing on deck. Oh, that could be a very good combo with the bomb oh, ending. But no, up he had a shield. It. Very good out of shield option there. Has a bit of intangibility, I believe, and is yeah. so strong. 205% that was definitely going to take it at some point. Of course, yeah. Um, this is still a bit of an uphill climb. Round two. Tries to relieve a bit of pressure at the ledge, you know, with that charge shot. Cause has to shield it. Charging. Just standing there for a little bit, you know, not scared of John at all, which is kind of the attitude you need to have against Wario because you're not going to get much done if you're scared. You need to respect his options yeah. without fearing them. You do need to respect those options, that's for sure. You go, oh, tries to eat the missile, and you saw there Anto tried to go for that punish. Yeah. Dash Very good forward air just to catch with a charge shot. That is quite a common thing you'll see with yeah. Samus. When's the charge shot coming out? Are we going to see it yet? Oh, oh I was just trying to be really, really patient with it. Yeah, oh, that oh, shield is looking very is small. small. Regular gets up into that. That's not going to be the stock yet, but it's going to let John regenerate his shield, which is huge. Yeah, nearly as good as the stock, right? <laughs> it's basically the same thing. <laughs> a stock and a little bit of shield health. Pretty yeah. much the same. But no, you can't, you can't underestimate those things, you know, because if, if your shield is offline, you won't be able to shield charge shot, and that then is that true. is going to yeah. be a much freer stock than before. Yeah, definitely. You still have to work for it, though. There you go, 102% though on John. This is definitely not out of reach for Andrew. Yeah, we've seen combos with the projectiles alone at such oh. low percent. But John, John does iron. have WAP, though, even though he used it up earlier in this game. Yeah, the games last so long that we yeah. get double WAPs, which is scary but oh, Anto's doing hit. well oh, oh gets the weak hit that's still pretty big though you know 84 percent on 84 percent yeah that's so so much yeah we're only getting more willing to take the trades against Samus because you know the yeah. killing hits can often be multi hits the trade and that rage good. building up now for John as well so will kill earlier with that back air yeah with that tilt. and even another half waft we see these dash dances again so scary I tense up every time I see them <laughs> how dare you do this <laughs> What's the option? Oh, yeah, forward tilt. Okay, grab out of the shield. Very long range. It's a bit slower than most grabs, but that's the payoff you get for tether grabs. And it does work for Samus, you oh. know, with that charge shot. Oh, oh gets hit by the uh, B. Yeah. Like, gets oh, very really good read on the jump. Direction. And we're nice. going game five. Well done. One minute 30 on the clock left. These are very long These lasting games. These have all been long lasting games. Well, I do like that, though. Plus. I like to watch them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is good. And here we are, game five. Game five, once again. Long lasting games. <laughs> <laughs> Another game. We saw game five, Snook versus Selkie. We saw game yeah. five on Dimitri versus Sassy Priest. There we go. And now we're seeing game five. Here. I'm sure there was more that. I mean, oh, I think uh, Brian versus Column. Possibly. Oh, was that also game five? I didn't see. That it. was game five. Yeah, I believe that was off stream. Yep. Brian, game five versus Column. So we have seen a lot of game fives today. Um, but that's just more gameplay for everybody to watch and everyone to enjoy. Exactly. Game 5, and we're seeing that trusty PS2 again. Here we go, back to PS2. Yeah. We always, I think in most of the games we've seen the right-hand side be the starting point, point. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's because John has been you know, going in early enough. It's just because it's easier to move your thumb to the right than it is to the left. You know, the I mean, I agree with you, way. but <laughs> I don't think that's the reasoning. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I don't approach is because I'd have to go left, and it feels <laughs> weird. Okay, very good. Come on to the chomp, so there's a bit of a heal as well. Because sometimes oh. that's bigger than getting more damage because it puts you out of combo percent ranges. I'd be interested to see, like, if it does make any difference on which side you start, left or right, because that's the way you need to approach the first time. Possibly. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't make a difference, but I would love to see it. On most symmetrical legal stages, possibly not, but... Yeah. 
Oh, very good. Nice. Lazare, even Charged with the parry on Lazare, you're not safe. Oh, oh, the bike just going through it. That bike is so, so, such a good tool in this matchup. Just a huge, huge, like, shield. It's mobility, it's a shield, it's a lead trap tool. Yeah. It can do everything, but then Andu's trying to do oh. everything in return to make sure that it doesn't whinge on the set. Yeah, I actually didn't think, well, I suppose that would have shield poked anyways, but I didn't think that a B was going to actually hit. Oh, oh gets the up smash again on the roll. What a read. This is huge for Antu. Oh, John just taking a page out of Antu's book and just standing there before grabbing <laughs> the field. Menacingly. <laughs> oh, oh, rolls in on the grab. Doesn't get hit by the bike. Antu is still living here. Antu's got to really like his position here. Yeah. Oh, gets back air, though. One F tilt, one other back air here maybe will be enough. A dash oh, tack could be very good. Shot gets hit there. Oh no, back air. Just jumps up, instead of waiting for Antu to land on either the ground or the platform, just goes for the back air, it's a safe option, but can't give Antu on ledge very well. You know that forward air off ledge, the charge shots, the movement with the jump and the bombs. He's got so many tricks to keep you at ledge, but keep himself yeah. away from it. It's incredible. It's funny, again, like we've only seen one stop go and there's been over two minutes gone in this, stop, in this game. And, and lives still. longer with that behind the heavy frame of Dark Samus. Goes for the edge guard, the double jump fair, just barely misses. If you're, if you're Ento here, do you start just playing for time? I you're think ahead. The thing is, you you might, but you also have to realize how comfortable John is with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. John yeah. will do that right back to you if ever. Yeah, and that, those are the questions the you know only reversed. these top players can actually answer. Yeah. Oh my god, he's just, he's just the dash. He's just running away. But so close. Oh, oh. the missile a bit too close. Oh, that could be huge. Be that's oh, he huge. Barely misspaces a missile, and that's going to lead to an entire stock. That and now is John's huge in the lead. In game five. Those are these mistakes you cannot make. And they were so subtle, just does a barely misspace a missile. I cannot Ooh. overstate that. Now, this is still very doable for Antu, but oh my god, that was incredible running from John, you know, with the waft. It's only a few moves, but you need to be able to capitalize on that, realizing when, you know, the projectile is safe and when it isn't. The mischarge out, that's also big. Oh my god. Oh, that down air could have taken it. Could have. Okay, very good grab on that shield. Up throw. Double jump up air, yeah. Alright. Oh, Antu the bear was so safe. What? He just hit him with, like, the... Oh, the dash dance. Oh my god. Oh my god. That dash dance is incredible, but John just double jumping over it. Maybe Anto will try to go for the jump read on Oh, uh, Anto tried to go for the roll read there with the S smash. Yeah. Once again, so maybe it wasn't a misinput, or maybe it's just one that happens multiple times. Yeah. Oh, oh barely nice. scooped him up. Okay. 146%, oh, and that's going to go. combo that's win. Gonna it. gonna it. This is the fastest game we've seen oh so far. <laughs> Three minutes. Yes, yeah, three minutes. <laughs> in. It's only gone for four minutes so far. Oh, goes to the back and not the up air. Oh my god, this is there incredibly tense. He needs oh to be very god. careful with these missiles. He saw what happened last so, time. So, so careful. Ah. Down tilt, but it, the hit lag on the bomb means that he probably won't be able to extend all of it. And oh, he just the charge up. up. The fair from ledge. What's it going to be? Charges up. Oh my god, just fires it in his face. 61%. Oh my and he's making this comeback. Oh my god. The up B, it doesn't fully connect, but he does go over the ledge with this. Over the hits. Oh, oh this is incredible. What's it going to be? The dash dance. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> oh, John's not being phased by that. No, absolutely the run -off not. The runoff down there. Oh, my God. This John is huge. John is so patient. Oh. Double jab. Yes, jab. The charge shot's online. This will probably kill. Oh, oh the up tilt is going to kill. And who takes the entire Yay. set. Oh, my goodness. And moves on to winner side top eight. That was insane. That was incredible. Oh, my what? God. What just happened? gaming we saw we saw like the game five walk giving john you know that extra stock lead and yeah just anto nickel and dying this whole way through that was so good so i believe anto so, so goes good. on to play sass priest tomorrow but that's not yeah. the last of john john will play i am not john will sure. be playing in the i believe against hackle serpent Against Possibly. I, I'm not entirely sure. I don't have the bracket myself. I am just going to bring up the bracket very professionally brilliant. right now. Uh, the throwdown, brackets. I'm sure. Oh, we're going to see Brian and... Oh, this is the DC. Oh, we were talking about this oh. one. But both of these players have been on such a run and made huge upsets. This, this game here is tragic. 
It's it, it's tragic, but it's going to be incredible. I it's, think it's tragically incredible. Wait, sorry, this is my one. Yeah, um, that's yours. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure Fuller Water Bottle is there. Uh, sorry. Okay, so we've got Ryan and Mithil, both players uh, from uh, DC, who grew up in DCU together, who grew up playing Smash. Yeah. You know, together. Um, both of them have graduated now. I'm pretty sure. I don't think either of them are in college anymore. Yeah. I really don't know. Um, but I know that they're really, really good friends, that they've been playing Smash together for a while, and one of them has to get knocked out of top eight. Yeah, but that one of those I can top eight, and just to point out, I have it written down here. Yeah. Mithiel, seed 24, seed and has gotten 24. to at least ninth place, and Brian is seed 15, um, which so these seeds are still incredibly high for an event this big, but... Mithiel is upset uh, Raven today. I think that's probably the biggest upset of the day. Yeah, um... Yeah, 2 0 win on Sea Turtle, 2 yeah. 1 win on Raven, 2 1 win on Scarfeld, and, and on I lost Scarfeld. to SBF. Yeah, so, Ooh. you know, beating three very good players there. Yeah. And then, let me check Brian with a, you know, 2 0 win on Alimento, lost to Dimitri, but beat Popstar and Column. So, brilliant wins all around for both these players here, which you do need to get to this point. There are no easy paths to win this tournament or there to even get to top eight. Right. No, absolutely not. How stacked was this tournament today? It was, it's we actually did. unbelievable. You know, we had some, you know, overseas players. We had SBF. Yeah. Uh, you know, we had Arthur, I believe. Arthur as well, yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, in top eight, there's just so many good players. And, you know, even players like Michael going out, you know, yeah. before top 16, I believe, which, you know, isn't, it, there were some big upsets, but at the same time, it's like, you can't blame anybody for. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, far. it's. It's been a crazy, crazy bracket today. It's been so stacked. And these two players in specific, I think, were the two underdogs. I think they're standout tournament. players. So, yeah. yeah. It's not like a breakout tournament because they both proved themselves before. But we've got the third player oh, back in. third player. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I love the third player. Oh. I thought we were seeing some music changes for oh, a second. Is, is someone it, messing with Oh, is someone messing around with the patrols? Can Someone's we, Pro Controller. Can we please unplug the Pro Controllers? Everybody check if your Pro Controller is connected to something that it shouldn't be. Thank you very much. Thank you. Especially if you've just played on stage. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, someone's is going to... That's... Wait, is that your... Okay, that's a Pro Controller. Yeah. I think one of these players is on Pro Controller regardless. I should be... Oh, I should connect my Pro Controller. Them and just like Can we play mess doubles? With them. <laughs> Yo, we, we could be playing and we could be commentating as if it was them playing. That would be incredible. That would be incredible. But no, I'd really love to see these players play. Now, <laughs> can we discuss characters? So, I know yeah. for certain, Mithiel, the iconic Ridley, and I believe Brian is going to be going Inkling. Oh, do you think? I am. Brian's been playing a lot of Roy. Yeah, no. he's been and playing a few characters, Roy, but I think... Roy... Uh, Roy... Uh, Ridley sounds. He incredible. may never know that. <laughs> yeah. I'm a we have no idea. We might. We might never know. We might never know. Maybe we will know. Maybe we will. <laughs> you may never notice. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, your family's in shambles. You might never notice. It's yeah, but we're gonna see some amazing gameplay. I think they're gonna get into it very shortly now. Charles Mother's daughter. Charles <laughs> Mother's daughter. Shout out to my sister. <laughs> Shout out to Charles Mother's daughter. All right. Here yeah, we go. so we it do see the inkling. inkling. Yeah. And I didn't expect to see this alt. I don't know exactly what alt. Actually, no. I think this is the yellow. yellow alt. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do like the yellow alt because when I play Pac-Man against it, it's even more yellow Pac-Man. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you ever get confused if you're like... Very much so. Yeah. I used to play against Claw, Yellow Inkling all the time in Wi-Fi tournaments. <laughs> so. And like you just don't know if you're being hit or not. Yeah. By we should talk about this game. Yeah, no, we should. We 123% already. What has happened in these 30 seconds? Uh, Mythial has happened, I think. Yeah, Mythial has happened. Oh, keeps the jump there, gets the extra roller oh. jump, but it's still has to get off there. the ledge. That's a charge up smash. It would have covered a lot of options, but Brian does not need to get up attack. There's a bit now, of anger oh, on the field. Brian goes low there. Um, but Ridley definitely... Oh, made, the oh. bomb. That would have been a bridge attack chase back throw. Doesn't kill. Doesn't no, do not quite. Tries to down smash. Yeah. Not quite. There is one thing I'd like to note is that I've seen a lot of small battlefield coming from Mithiel, and I think it's a credible choice for Mithiel because of that up smash on the platform. Yeah. But 
Brian just making very good use of the small stage, gets the roller, and with 172% rage, this could be quite devastating if it doesn't get a stock. A side B, a very good ledge trap, something along those lines. Could be it, but oh, the F tilt is going to nice. be it. That's really well done there by Mithil. Bringing it back to even here. And now... Oh, single it out. Maybe not sure if it's going to connect and didn't want to hold the jab at ledge. Oh, here we do see the whole yes. jab. We see yellow. That's going to be big. Can we see another one? Oh, more yellow. Oh. He's oh glowing. He's, so he's gone Super Saiyan. Oh, my God. <laughs> he is the sun. The John's that sun. The John's that sun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's another roller. Oh, oh, oh no, jab. Miss. Okay. That was like he the anti jabs we saw last time. Yeah, but still gets a punish and yeah. gets more, like, completely inked up Ridley. Absolutely, this is insane. Yeah. Down throw, what's going to be reverse snare. I like the idea because the back hit can send in different angles. Oh, yeah. And exactly. maybe not hit as far as a strong hit, so you get combos. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll charge smash, up smash. Not quite. Yeah, we see Brian staying quite grounded for a lot of these times, yeah. knowing that that nair from Mithio could be huge. And Inkling oh. definitely has that ground movement. Oh, maybe that's trying to be a dash grab, but didn't quite come out. So, yeah, I think I'd like to see Mithil try a few more of these side Bs, because I feel oh. like... Oh, there we go. Oh, mash is oh, out. Incredible is mash out. from Brian, and gets the down smash oh punish. God. That was so good from Brian. What a great mash. I, I don't think I ever could have mashed that fast. Yeah, that was insane. And and not to, like, miss input anything at the end. Yeah. Oh, tries oh. to go for that down air. I like the idea, because it's game one. You can go yeah. for those. Even if you went for, like, a... Oh, uh, I missed angle. That's okay. It's even still. I was going to say, even if you went for something like a cheeky... Um, a cheeky footstool. Like, that would have killed possibly yeah. even. Okay, we get the up right. throw. We get an up air. Okay, maybe he tries to go for the... We've seen the jab again. I, I hope those aren't miss inputs, and I hope they're, you yeah. know, just trying to be some funky combo extensions. But yeah, I would like to see Brian stay more grounded because you know how low Inkling can dash, especially with yeah. a tall character like Ridley maybe not having so many low-hitting moves, oh, but that smash definitely does hit low. That would hit... That hits as low as they go, you know? Yeah. But it's, oh, Mitch is doing such a great job of forcing the jump Doesn't get there. the mash lock time. And is sent off stage now with about 100%. Oh, oh that was a light shot. That could have kill there. He's looking very now good for Mitchell now. Trying to condition, I'd say, Brian, to land on that platform because... Oh, that smash! Never mind. Just That's going for the down it. smash. We saw Brian roll last time. We saw get up tactic before. That would have covered both. Yeah. But yeah, very good stuff. That was a very good first game. We saw Such some commanding leads from both players. Great timing there from Mayfield there with that back, uh, with that down smash. Um, yeah, she's gonna go ahead and take it. So I wonder. If I don't think Ryan wants to go back to the stage at all. Yeah, it yeah. seems like s such a comfort pick. I saw some of the wins I mentioned earlier were because not because of small battlefield, but we're on small battlefield. Yeah, so like. Small Battlefield has a couple advantages, I think, over PS2. Yes, uh, we see a third player. Yeah. Disconnect your pro controllers. Yeah, W. <laughs> Calling you out. We see another fist bump there. You love to see the, the camaraderie oh, just with these, the... These are homies. Yeah. Right here. I think I think a lot of people here, you know, are homies, or at least very yeah. close. But, you know, it's good to see a matchup where both players know each other so well because yeah. you see the level of gameplay that you don't get, even from you know, the best players who are playing Strangers. I appreciate Brian going for the purple, um, the purple one this time, so that we don't have to look at a bright uh, yellow, uh, a bright yellow Ridley anymore. We get to see a purple Ridley, which I'd say looked amazing. Yeah. Oh, the landing oh, nice. up here. That was a very nice punish out of it. We only see a couple of them, but the idea is incredible there. Maybe Ridley wouldn't be able to land so much easily. Oh, tries to down smash there, but I don't know if that's... Purple Ridley? If that's going to be something you can do. That looks like a very spooky Ridley. We got the purple, we got the orange. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Oh, it's just wait around? Just purple right. on him, but not very much so far. Brian is running oh. quite low on ink, so he needs to get back to stay. But oh. no, Zach. Well, there you go. The it's jump. his back, though. Yeah, it's, so it's optimal. Yeah, it's optimal. You just try to get back the ink. Honestly, poor stuff from Mithiel, giving Brian all that ink back. <laughs> oh, Fourth throw so? isn't going to kill, but it is going to put the ink on center on stage. Waiting for the ledge oh, trap wow. instead of the two-frame. Just gets the two-frame with back air. Oh, oh that, no, he saved him. I don't think he has no, any jumps okay. yet. Because, yeah, if people don't know, Ridley only has four angles on the up B. You can't do something like Firefox. So you're either locked into straight up or slightly you know, down angled forward because the backwards one is the one that goes up. It is a very weird up B, but I'm maybe I knows this. I have no idea. That yeah. is some really good knowledge. Yeah, and it's the kind of thing that you do have to know, and maybe Brian didn't know that when trying to go for that splat bomb, but yeah. it still worked out because the jumps were gone already. Only four tilts the roller. Yeah. I love that. 
Yeah, just the clank with it. If it gets rid of it and it works, but yeah. it's not oh. gonna work that time. Fully charge out smash isn't gonna kill. It's not a better. big not stage, quite. but. But that is a lot of ink already on Mithil. Oh, I like the read on the jump there because we did see Mithil jump in, but just maybe a bit too fast, you know, of Smash for Brian. Yeah. Okay, Mithil, you're thing. really looking for some kill. Oh, oh that'll do. I think Brian's no. trying to space around that. Mashes out of it, gets a grab and return, and really now we see another smash, smash again. Oh, oh, I'll be through this stage. It's a small stage, big up. Yeah, that hitbox will poke out of it. And if you're oh, good back throw. Careful. Maybe not enough time to react to DI, but either way, I think it would have killed. It was Speaking very fast. Speaking of not careful. Exactly. Oh, that was so good. Running into the shield, jumping to the other side, getting Speaking the drag across. Not careful. That was so good from Mithiel. That was mind games. That's so it good. was incredible. All right, here we are. Stock apiece now. These, these stocks have been going so much quicker than the, than the uh, last, game. last game, for sure. I think it's a product of the characters and a product of the players. They just want to play the yeah. game so fast. Yeah. I definitely know, you know, Mithiel and Brian are both players who don't mind just going in. They want to go in and they want to, yeah. you know, show what they have. Yes, with that slide yeah. we saw last time, oh, that would have been very good, but just not quite hitting. Oh, this oh, is a scary is situation. Oh, this, that up, oh, be, no. it's, it oh, does snap to ledge, but we do see, you know, it had to go straight up there, so I was yeah. kind of scared of that. I thought he was going to go down for sure. We see a lot of these neutral bees from Mithiel, but they're always too charged. Oh, the trip! Oh. Get up attack! That would have been a very funny combo <laughs> if we got the trip. I didn't know that was possible. Up there, up air, classic from the Inkling. Speaking, yeah, up there, up air might kill soon, and I mean, not quite, yeah, on Ridley, I, but. Uh, I'm not sure, yeah. You know, a couple of back airs, and then that. Oh, up being up neutral! It's not gonna he's kill, but beast. the mind games! Mithiel is incredible! Oh my god, the side beat, the up air, that's the shark. Mithiel, you can't do this! Air dodges off the platform, it's reset to neutral. What if he did it again? I'm, just, I'm scared <laughs> of something, a possibility. Brian's oh, out of ink, gets a hit. little bit back from the, you know. Oh uh, yeah, both, both players kind of taking a good the breather there. Oh jeez. <laughs> don't, don't smash, don't connect. This is it. And there we go, the backwards up B, yeah. as I said, goes slightly up. Oh, is that the side B? Very good back here from Brian, just his fast button. It's a safe oh. button, forward throw with Nothing. the ink. No, you don't just go goes back for more ink, goes for it again, oh, no. and it doesn't work. No punish, though. Oh! Triple jab, it's not gonna kill. Jab punish? Another no, down smash, doesn't get grabbed for it, another up he's smash. He's got his tough bone for those down smashes. Mm. Oh, is any of those gonna hit? Oh, and the F, F till hits That's on the take hand. It. Midfield's up 2 0. 2 0. This is. This is insane. This is insane. <laughs> Everyone I don't know what out. you're saying, the but I think venue is freaking I out. think Almond is praying for a game five. I can't hear him. He doesn't want a game five. I'm. Sh I. I think he really wants a game but five. Here's. Here's the secret, right? Is you don't pay attention to him. You can look at him every now and then, but we're commentators. We're above production. Okay. Yeah. We can do whatever we want. He's the third player. Yeah. He's the third player. <laughs> He's the one. Hey, is that a pro controller? I told you not to play neutral. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Game three. Shout out to Ahmed, yeah. by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This. I, I feel like any of these games could go either way. Yeah. Like, as much as Mithya got some of those reads, and it was insane. Oh, Brian's Brian playing is so of a reverse solid. Video. Yeah. And I kind of forgot that the person who loses here is going out. It just feels like it shouldn't be that way. Yeah, no, oh, it there's definitely a lot of shouldn't damage be. Here. But again, like we said earlier, there's so much talent at this tournament. Can't Double feel, fair? He doesn't get the third hit, so it doesn't launch away. Almost out of it. And the side oh, B scooping B, up, not going to kill. Is able to land on the platform. That is going to make recovery a lot easier so for Brian here. I think part of the mashing is the difference between their percents. Oh, that was so good oh. with the air dodge out. That's a lot of damage. 103% now with a very inked up Ridley. This is looking a lot more even than it was at the yeah. start. Oh, and I think this will be, be a it. kill. It yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. I think up to uh, up smash as well can be good there. It, I think it can, especially on the heavier characters, but an F smash was going to yeah. work there. Did have enough time for that. Uh, so may as well oh, just do it. And maybe it doesn't want to stay a up smash. Maybe it, not, these are things yeah. you do have to take into account, especially against the players who could like I, I was actually just thinking of sailing. The trip on the nair, double nair combo. That was sick. And now we see more ink. This is big for Brian. Yeah, really, really big here. Brian wants to get as much of a head start here as he can. Of course. Up throw, that's oh, going to be a yeah. combo into up air. It's nowhere near killing, but every bit of percent, you know, just kind of. It's worth oh, it. Oh, dash, dash attack, attack just calls him out. We see these call outs just running across the stage with a yeah. big move. Brian here. 
has a uh, advantage here. Oh, what's it going to nice. be? Another S goes smash. behind. He's not take it. Barely not doesn't take it. Slight bit more percent or well, a slight tries bit more to charge. Catch the, uh, ledge option oh, very good smash. fake out with the wave land back. Tries to go for up throw up here. Tries to get a re grab, but barely misses. Ooh. 136 percent though. Brian, you know, turned this game around at the start. It was looking so much more Matthew's waiver. Absolutely. Maybe getting a little bit aggressive with that roller attempt there because you can be stuffed out. It's that short range. Oh! I thought it was going to be that power That was a through. cheeky up Yeah. That was very cheeky. You can't just do that. Oh! oh. Chase, there we see the wave land again. It's yeah. incredible for Brian. Back to the stage. Brian right. right. knows it's moving. Oh, that was so oh, good. Wow. It lingered there. Oh, and lands on the platform. So he, he gets, gets more recovery mix-ups. Yeah. yeah. Lands on the stage with nice. the back air. Oh, One not kill? Quite. Okay. 200%, but it is Ridley. And there it there is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now Brian can start on these high, you know, high damage combos, especially yeah. on a big body like Ridley. Wants to get that jab in first so you get the ink, so more damage on these combos. Oh, go. that was oh, so wow. good. That's incredible. That's just knowledge. And the safe Brian back air. Brian doesn't even just want to take this game. He wants to send a message. He wants to say, like, no, I'm not just good enough to clutch yeah. out a game. I. I'm good enough to beat you. I'm good enough to beat anyone here in this room. Exactly. I'm good and enough to win this And this might be the start of it. Oh. Oh, that's so Let's good. Go. Let's go, Brian. Oh, I, wow. I love these really games. Well I know Ahmed loves these games. Yeah, no. I think all of our players here and all of our audience clearly loves these games. Loves these games. Give all right, here time. we go. <laughs> Game four coming up between Mythiol and Brian. Brian, yeah. Brian previously... Jort Champ previously, Spade previously, he had another name as well. It yeah. was like French. It's wild. Not many names, but I do yeah. like the shift towards, you know, first names just yeah. being the, the norm because so many people in the scene are so I, close, yeah. I, I've been considering the change myself. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I think 2020. Wait, you mean your name isn't like Crit Hammer? <laughs> no, you'll I was calling you Crit this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> no, my first name is Critical. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Brian already getting something started up here. Ooh, but nice. Forward air to dash back. Yeah, we're Mithiel. on PS2 now, so quite a bit of a bigger stage, but, you know, Mithiel still has the ability to do platform yeah. chases. Makes up less percent of the stage overall, yeah. but has more room to ledge trap then, I guess. Yeah, Mithiel there. Uh, Brian definitely, I think, banned uh, There's the outside, yeah. Yeah, even though I think it's a good stage for Inkling, it's going to be rough against Ridley. Oh, he goes for it all. Oh, what's going to happen here? Makes it back, though. Oh, very good combos with jab into the so back air into jab. It's yeah. the opposite of, you know, Carmen Roy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. All the way across the stage, you've got to be just quick on it. that mash. Not just quick mashing, but quick reactions to yeah. start the mash. Oh, oh wow. Here we go. Combos. The up tilt on the platform. I love the mix-ups that Mithiel does between uh, an up tilt to extend combos and yeah. an up smash to, you know, start a juggle or to, you know, just straight up kill. It feels like Ridley's run speed is exactly the same speed as Roller. Is that just me? Look, look, I at, think so. look at the next time. Well, the, we don't see it. There's a bit of hesitance, but it's oh, going to kill. Wow. Nice. Really well done here. We see the audience getting hyped as well. Yeah. I, certainly I am happy to see it. Okay, here's the jab. That's oh. so essential because it means every combo from now on is going to be more damage. Tries to oh. get that setup there with the bomb into back air, into more combos again, but still. Here we go. Triple jab. Oh, this will be a ledge. That's not going to kill. Okay. Not quite. Very good. That's going to relieve some pressure. But difference in their percentage, that's how be. You can't mash out. Yeah, I think Brian wants to be very careful jumping because of the possibility of that up smash from Ridley. Yeah. It's so big. It's so encompassing. It's like Ganon's faster. Maybe not as strong, but, you know, it's so threatening. Back throw. Charges up that well. ink. And, you know, that's brilliant. The air dodge in tries to punish it, but Woo. is able to shield just in time. Brian oh, does it again? Oh my God. Doesn't get punished though, and has stage control. Yeah. So it worked out for Mithiel, even though it Just didn't Just tried hit. so oh, hard. Up, throw, up air, doesn't quite connect. Up air, not going to connect anymore. Yeah. So up air, up throw, up air is no longer on deck. Okay, so fire doesn't beat the bomb. Yeah, not so, not at that distance anyway. I'm not sure. Oh. It's a charge thing, but this could be Side Brian's B. tournament stock. It could be Brian's tournament stock. It doesn't feel like oh. it, but he says no. Goes with that down smash. Brian has another game in him. Okay. He does. And we love it. We love it. And we five. love these combos. We okay. love a game five. Come on, Brian. 
Come on, midfield. Let's go. I'm just so high for both of these players. Yeah. That's good. Double backer. Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared on no the PS2. Pineapple, no pineapple. Okay. Oh, They're the just back carrying each other. And gets hit on stage. It's back and forth and back and forth. It's some really good Smash oh, Bros. right my now. God. Oh, What's my gonna God. be? The, the, the charge in the other way. It's a oh, bit scrappy right now. Get him out. It's a bit scrappy up right girl, now. It's not gonna kill us. Yeah, but gets the ink back. Oh, and that's oh. a lot of damage because yeah. of the hit on the neutral B. That is what happens. You don't get knocked back, but you get a lot of damage. Oh, this is big here for Brian. One down smash here. Oh, Brian tries to. Oh, oh the oh, F smash. So good, and we're to another oh, game five. Brian. Mithiel, game five. I think I'm a, uh, a Mithiel fan. Yeah. Okay. He looks so distraught. <laughs> Thank you so much to all of us one for this. This has been incredible so far, and we still have so much more to go. If you are hyped <laughs> for this game five, let me hear you make some noise. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people are tired from the day. Well. But I know, you know, we talked before, we talked, you know, on the landing there about who's excited for this. What stage are we getting? I didn't quite get to see it. We're seeing PS2 again. Brian versus Mithiel game. Mithiel oh. thinks this is the best stage still for him. And I agree. Okay, oh, gets wow. the roller early on. Wave lands straight down and gets the jab out of it. That's 61.8% already. Yeah, that was such good. Now. Oh, that was such good reactions Not there. there. No, there. Tries to nice. jab lock and gets the grab on the roll, in, or roll out. I know. Very good forward tilt, just saying like this yeah. little long-lasting hitbox. Oh, this could oh, be the wow. stock. No way. It no is. Way. That's big for Brian. That, is that dash dance. I love that dash dance. Yeah. Oh, that's out of a jump. So, wrap jab legend. We're going to see a roll behind, or what are we are going to see? Jumps oh. over <laughs> it. Tries to get, yeah, forward into grab is not going to come, but certainly yeah. at low percent like Definitely that. Definitely not here. Very good ledge. Trump gets the get up attack out of it. Okay. Oh, nice fair. Gets the jab combo after. Just trying to like get his Home tries to go oh for it God. again, and that's very good from Brian. Gets the pivot. You know, Here we pivot. go. Back, so. Back air? No, not quite. I feel almost dancing around Brian as if you know Brian is yeah. the heavy. Yeah. But you know, of course, no playing inkling, the more nimble character. Yeah, no, but Mithil Brian just keep him stuck in place, oh, and that side he's gonna take it. Grab him, throw him. That's what Mithil does. Yeah, I love that F-Tilt. I've never appreciated Ridley's F-Tilt as much as this game right now. Yeah. Oh, nice back air. Very nice back air. Oh, there's the reverse hit of Nero that we saw him go for earlier. It was only a neutral, but... I love that, that you know, ink bomb there. Maybe doesn't have oh, the height to get to... That's probably that's not going to kill. No, because oh, no point. ink, yeah. Uh, but the ink bomb used to, you know, stop Ridley from landing in certain spots. You know, because Brian really wants to force. Oh, you know, this a could roller. be really an early kill. It could be. Oh, very good angle there, but none of the actual oh, fireballs hit. That doesn't piece. kill yet. Tries to do an ink bomb to relieve, you know, pressure at the ledge. Yeah. What's right. it gonna be? Back air. Nice back air. Okay. Both players, it's just, I think yeah, whoever takes the stock is going to have a huge here. advantage. Back throw is all going to kill. Ink doesn't already have huge kill power in the throws, but back throw certainly would be the yeah. best for that. Back air, they're not killing quite yet, but back air will be one oh, of those. Oh, the moves. barely misses Mithya, just drifting around it at 200% now. Can't get yeah. hit by anything. Oh, nice. A forward air. That forward air. Yeah, not very to far. Cover enough. that space there. An F tilt, an air, anything will, will take it. Yeah. yeah. Here. Oh, the Whoa. forward air, the landing hits, so it doesn't kill either. That's oh, definitely it. It's gonna take it. Oh my god, so close. Brian needs Brian to stock, but he needs to not here. panic. He needs to just take the stock and not be stressed about what happens before then. These rolls, there's a lot of rolls. Oh, so many rolls. Oh my god. Oh, oh that was so good. Tries to get more yeah. out of it. It's not enough percent, but that, that was kind of a message there. It was it was nice. It was nice. Oh, oh my god, and the roll line grab barely moves. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, forward air? 70%. Mithiel survived for so long! Oh, oh my god, that was insane! Mithiel, Mithiel takes wins. it! 
Mayfield's oh in top eight. Oh my god, Mayfield's in top eight. Mayfield's in top eight. Let's go. And he pops off. Let's go, Mayfield. Wow. Now, commiserations well to Brian. That was such a good set. I can't wait to rewatch that. Yeah, absolutely. Brian played spectacularly the whole set. Yeah. Um, just, it was so back and forth. And, jeez, I am hyped. I'm hyped for another game five. Another game five. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my glasses keep fogging up. Wait, I need to adjust. I need to adjust my situation. Yeah, I'm going to take a very quick drink of water here. Woo. All right. Uh, next up, I see we have Sassy Priest and Dimitri. Ooh, that's going to be an interesting one. Wait. See some. Oh, Sassy wait, Priest? No. no, that's not. No, that already happened. Starfelt. And Dimitri. Scarfelt and Dimitri. Yeah, because Dimitri lost to Sass Priest. Yeah, as, yeah, as yeah. Oh, I hit my mic. I oh. Be careful there. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm just so mad that we're not getting more game fives. Uh, wait, wait, what do you mean we're not getting more game fives? I think we are. We are getting more game fives. <laughs> Scarfell Dimitri in losers? Yeah. Um, These are two of the highest seeds of the tournament, right? Yeah. Um, some of them anyway. It's, it's hard because it feels like there's about 20 top eight seeds. Yeah. No, there are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The people are here are really bad at numbers. I, but I, I was insane. the top eight seed. Yeah. That's how, that's how close I am. Yeah. Smash AG didn't handle that well at all, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We got Someone else stage hyping them both up. Let's go. They are hyped. They are ready to play. Yeah. I think both... And We've got so play is three. player three. <laughs> player three is also ready to play. Yeah. In terms of characters, I think both of these players have their characters pretty much set. Yeah, I think so. That, that, yeah, no, it's Fox. It's, it's definitely Fox. Yeah, yeah. No, Scarfelt, they, that you know, they're so known. Not, for, a, not yeah. a real thing. Yeah, I don't remember yeah. the YouTube videos about Olimar before. But. Here we go. To be free, Scarfelt, let's go. Yeah. Um, these are both players I could have definitely seen, you know, just being in the top eight winners already. This but could have been grand final. It oh, could have been. Know. So many of these sets could have been. Yeah. Um, maybe one of them will be. Well, not one of these, well, of course, because they're in this will side, not yeah. be grand final. Unless I the you seeding that. goes really <laughs> weird. Uh, oh, we could do triple elimination bracket instead. Oh my god. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah. I'm wait, wait. Let, I'm gonna talk to Tia. We're, we're changing this. <laughs> triple elimination. All right. Um, All right. Starfelt uh, from question mark. And uh, Dimitri from Ireland. All right, Dimitri, number one plant player I've ever known. I've yeah. never seen a plant this solid. Yeah, I, I played against one other very solid plant before at Albion, but nothing on Dimitri. I'll yeah. have to be honest. You know, this player is messing up our, some of Ireland's best players with plant. Absolutely. He is, um, you know, one of the best players. Yeah. Um, Dimitri, one of the, you know, we were talking about this before, but like one of the Wi-Fi upcoming kind of. Yeah, I mean, I think it was. Yeah, but was a player before then, but also just kept on developing skills during Wi Fi. I certainly know yeah. I've lost my fair share of grand finals online <laughs> to this player, um, but I'm so happy to see how well he's doing offline. Absolutely. And and Starfeld, uh, you know, just Smash 4. The you know, pride like, of Ireland in Smash 4, I'd say. Yeah, just so good with with, Fo with, well, with so many characters, but Fox so is characters. just the yeah. iconic, you know knowing everything about this character and I think the thing to highlight is the movement from Scarfell. Yeah. Uh, I think that's always been there, you know, strong suit oh, and nice. the oh, reactions smash. was another thing. <laughs> Just knowing being able to say like, hey, this is when I, you know, pull the trigger on whatever I'm doing. I've always thought of Scarfell as like one of the most optimized players yeah. there was. Especially in Smash 4 era. Like, they had an entire series called Optimizing Fox. Yeah, like that. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. One thing I think that is going to be a bit odd to throw at them though is this match of unfamiliarity. I don't think that they played many plants before. Oh. Um, and we know Dimitri do have played, you know, a few Foxes, including Popstar, who I think they played John often Barrett, enough. Yeah. And um, John Barrett, yes, of course. But these combos, these, you know, just the extensions. You know, punishing every oh, air dodge. Nice. Very good. No, there was the triple jab out of that, which may have seen a bit he like a mistake. He just read the roll in with like down B. That's so cool. Yeah, um, I do like that triple jab from Dimitri because I think it might even be one of the best things out of jab lock for Piranha Plant, ah. which makes the jab so good. It just sets up again and again, oh! but that catches the illusion oh with the neutral B. Plant is such a good character. That all Plant needs to do is push the B button at the right time. That's all you need to do. Yeah. Whereas okay, Starfell to get the has to press, there, like, yeah. you know, Starfell, they need to press at least 15 buttons. And they're all A, because, you know, Fox mostly A moves, but here we have to see the recovery of the B button. 
Dimitri just racking on percent. What's yeah. up? A couple of crouches there? Am I mistaken? Maybe waiting for a down B and we see the illusion yeah. trade once again. Waiting for the down B or for the down uh, down tilt as well. Yeah. It's quite good for okay. ledge. Waits for the air dodge there, but Scarfell, you oh. know, maybe not knowing about that armor. Down B super armor. Oh, the grab with the pummel and it's oh going to kill and Dimitri God. dies. I knew. <laughs> Has the stock up Dimitri though. Dimitri able to take that stock being a whole stock ahead. Um, and it's going to be up game one against Scarfell. Yeah. Um... I think, I feel like throughout this set, it's going to become more and more in Scarfeld's yeah. favor. Not to make, not to say that they'll win, but just learning the matchup as they go. You I know they're very good at Dimitri's adapting. Race. He's just kind of like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah. I, I don't know what happened. As, you know, someone who plays quite a rare character, I can definitely yeah. relate to that. But <laughs> nothing of Piranha Plant. Such a, you know, obscure character. Such an obscure character. I know sure. two Piranha Plant mains. I know one Piranha Plant. <laughs> <laughs> I know the Piranha Plant name. <laughs> Small Battlefield. Um, I All think right. this is good for both players. Of course, Battlefield notoriously good for Fox in like yeah. most games, I would say. Um, okay. But also very good for the lead trapping for um, Piranha Plant, which is probably the strong suit for yeah. Piranha Plant. You know, with that Patui, neutral is, you know, improved by Patui, oh. of course, but it's it's not like the best combo game or the safest moves overall. Oh it's my the God. edge oh, guarding and the lead trapping. The Tries mm -hmm. to get the illusion there with the down B. That would have killed had that hit. We do see that side B stalling off in an air dodge or an air very commonly afterwards. Scarfield finally trying to get something uh, up here. Oh, illusion up on stage. Air? It can combo, oh. but didn't quite connect there. Dash tack out of the corner. Yeah, Piranha Plant is quite limited in these options, so dash tack is quite... Oh. You know, a back air strong air choice. Starfield is going to go off stage, but not going to get anything. Very good back air placement, avoiding the Patui this time. Really and we do well see done. these like instant double jumps or you know. Uh, double we jump. can already start seeing some of the adaptation there from Starfield. Yeah, oh. can't adapt to that though. I think yeah. that's a two frame, and even if it was, he's just going to drift off the ledge and hit yeah, you. Yeah, not much you can do. Pressuring that shield on the platform, that yeah. is one of the reasons why it's so good. You know, Fox can get up into the air, throw out a strong move, and then get back down straight away. Waits for the option, but doesn't quite read the drift. Gets back onto the stage, yeah. which is so good, showing that, you know, they've adapted. They know that that is going to reach out, and it's going to have super armor. But Dimitri is getting back into it, throwing out another one, because why not? Why not? Exactly. Oh, There's a bit more damage. Lasers there. Maybe Scarfelf is looking to get That's Dimitri a bit of to a certain percentage. Oh, nice shield. Yeah, thing. that's not a thing in this game. In Smash Bros, of course, you can just go off three shields, and it was great to get off ledge with that. But this game, it, you do get punished for oh. that, and you'll get punished for the regular wow. ghetto. Such a good down smash. That just down knowing smash his timing. That's such a weird angle, it too, doesn't does. it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, tries to down smash. That might have killed. I'm not sure. Yeah. Because uh, Plant. Oh, very good space. You might not know this, uh, listeners, but Plant is one of the heaviest characters in the game. Yeah. It's like top insane. Top 10, uh, maybe top 5? No, not quite top 5. But What's top in. 10. Oh, bad DI on Ooh. that L smash, though. That's just going to be it. Yeah. This game looking much better for Scarfell already. Definitely. And with this combo coming out. Oh, oh very good. But it just barely misses. Oh, up to back air. Yeah. It's not a move you see too often from Plant, but it is quite strong when you do hit it. Very good. Yeah, there for Scarfell landing like, there. It's so laggy to come out and so laggy after as, rare as well. But being able to connect an up tilt into it, uh, guaranteed, is really, really The strong. illusion behind, just where Dimitri is landing, and jumps away quickly on that reaction. The up oh, tilt. tilt. Oh, tilt. very good pressure. Landing there is going to connect, oh! and it's not going to kill yet, but it's going to send Dimitri off stage, which isn't too disadvantageous, but the lead trap is going to be... So, ah, with a charge up ah, smash, with the roll oh. behind, that was really good. Let's and we've go. got 1-1 one, one on our way to another Game 5. On our way to another Game 5. <laughs> <laughs> I love that theme. I love the Fox Wind theme. Yeah. A lot of the Wind themes in this game are so good. but it, it, These have been some really, really good... Top uh, top 24 sets so far. Mm -hmm. uh, Going to PS2, okay, so it seems like a right. similar stage, but just with a bit yeah. more space, I guess, for the setups. A bit more space, a bit more, a bit more, you know, it can be done there. Um, this is our last top uh, top game here. Uh, look has at. unless Hackle Serpent is playing off stream. Yeah, like, like. Hackle Serpent and John has played been played off stream. Okay. Yeah. I, so, sorry, I was just looking to see who else was uh, who else was coming up here. Yeah, um, so I believe this might be our last set today. Yeah, so the winner here will be playing John tomorrow for top eight losers. 
Ah, very good. All right, so here we go. Before we talk about tomorrow, let's talk about today. Yeah, because this will mean a lot for the rest of the tournament because, as we said, both of these players could, you know, just make it to grand final. So. Yeah, they both could definitely be making it to that grand finals. Oh, nice beat. Now, I know Hit Fox loves to jump above, you know, all the characters because the landing there, but you can't necessarily jump above Piranaplan, not just because Fatui, but because of up smash out of shield as well. It's one of the strongest up smashes, I think. Oh, Absolutely. grab a ledge. It's going to be a forward throw, and up throw might kill next because Fox is surprisingly light. Oh, is he? I didn't know. I yeah, didn't Fox, Fox is, is, is very light. You Fox know. as a... Oh, actually, no, I didn't know that. I, I think similar weight to like Mewtwo in this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very well placed backer. Ledge Trump oh, is not going to be timed Benetton correctly, is. and Dimitri takes the first stock. See, charging up that side B, that side B could be big, but oh, no, the up smash is coming out. Responding right away. I don't Very good catch. It's that, that's not fair. Box. You can't have a stock more than me. <laughs> Nearly combos get up attack into illusion. <laughs> when you're this genius, you just make those custom combos. When you're so smart. Very good shine stall there. Yeah. And just yeah. dancing around these platforms, you know, not being too scared of it. Okay. Again, that's one of my favorite things. Oh, that was insane. SDI. Plays. Just the level of intelligence of this player is insane. Yeah. The SDI, though, out of the jab, though, was the same from the Matrix. Yeah. Oh, Waveland? I've seen that before. Waveland's Wave onto land the platform. Yeah, for the spacing, I believe. Yeah. Air dodges the laser. You can't take any of those hits. You can also uh, Waveland into... A single jab and uh, is able to combo beat. out of it. Oh, shields oh, that. Wow. that it, you can't shield this Fatui no. if there's a new one. Oh, oh, but catches the jump. There's no Fatui. Pulls out that jump. Wow. That really insane. well done. That's Scarfeld going to try to respond here. Dash attack into up air. Very up good air. back of there. That's going oh, to take nice. it. I think that was a bit. I don't you know, think Dimitri was expecting to be Yeah, because Fox just gets up so quick, sometimes you yeah. don't expect it. Down throw up smash, not what I expected, but, you know. Nearly connected, doesn't get a punish for it. Oh, nice. There. Such hard hitting combos. The get up attack is punished just by that landing Fatui. And oh. yeah, it, when it bounces like that, it doesn't reflect. And it's going to hit off stage. And oh, oh that would have been insane. So oh, but here we get the jab block combo with that down air. Oh, Such iconic wow. down air. Oh, and the shine. Oh, no, God, it barely no, misses. Oh my god, that was such an insane combo. That was the most, most insane thing I've ever seen at Fox. The Scarfelt combos are so clean. And the oh. DI there is clean as well. Survives for a bit longer. Doesn't want to get down smashed. Double jumps, fakes out. Up doesn't no, get the up air out of it directly. Gets the up tilt. I see an up tilt after every bit of shield pressure, and it seems to be working out. Dimitri is just dropping oh, shield a little Dimitri's bit too early. Oh, that and that's oh, it. Wow, wow. That's going to take it to game four. Yeah, I believe. 2 1 yeah. to Dimitri. Dimitri is always trying to get that jump now with that down B. Always sees that jump coming. Mm hmm. Oh, this is just so we good. are last game of today, game four. <laughs> oh no, it's been so good. It's <laughs> so good. No uh, counter picks, I assume. Just stick with the fox. Yeah. Especially with that combo at the end. Give Scarfelt some space and a down air, and you're gonna die. Like that yeah. that's just what happens. I mean that's just You know, that's just one of the you know, That's just how it works, you know. It's one of the rules. <laughs> and we're back to small battlefield now. Alright. Uh, Goes right in for a grab. The walk grab doesn't quite connect. Maybe dash grab would have single this is jab. Where won early, right? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and we nearly see SDI with that jab again. Oh, that was very good landing on the platform into the drop down backer. Just barely not enough time. That's the shield oh! break. That could be the stock with the side B damage. Side B. Fully charged forward smash is oh, the stock. Oh my goodness, that was so early. Such Only a strong punish tool. And that was really quick too. Only 30 seconds into this match. Oh, that wave land there again. That was yeah. so clean. It goes for it again. Scarfell wants to hit these moves. Isn't you know going to be going for grab yeah. as much because it's not as rewarding. Dimitri's and just saying, yeah. you know, I can do cool stuff too. Plants yeah. is also a cool character. I got two moves to kill you at 30. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have a B button that's stronger than all of your buttons combined. Yeah. It's such a high damage tool, and when your shield broken, you know there's not much counterplay. I just realized Scarfell's at 105% on the second stop. Oh my god. That's so close. And the oh, open there. nearly kills. Okay. Oh, the dash tax. I think was way in there. there, but realized, you know, Dimitri was comfortable drifting off stage because of this Patui that does come out so often there. Doesn't panic oh, at the ledge, just does regular get up, and now we get another ledge trap situation. 
down here from ledge. Doesn't get the punish oh, wow, because the of the double jump. That was so good. And now it's three stocks to one. It's looking a little bit dire for Scarfell. Back here. Uh, Scarfell can make it back here still, I believe. Like, they genuinely have, though, yeah. Yeah. They have such explosive combos. Up smashes, yes, <laughs> exactly. Such explosive up smashes. Uh, but combo game, I feel like the combo game in this stage will be insane if we do get a very nice combo starter. We just get the up air there, but... We don't no. see the drag down fair, we just see one that going straight up because I think drag down would be a bit detrimental sending Fox that's the far off stage. Falls out of oh. that move because of how fast Fox falls. But we are getting a lot of damage back yeah. on. Oh yeah, oh look. The, 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 the timing Scarfell on these combo? nares to be able to get these yeah. combos is, is so good because you can't do it fully rising and you can't wait to land with it. You gotta do a bit of the mix of the both. And finally Skyfell just kind of like respecting the down B. Yeah, it's just one of those things that even if you do understand you need to respect it, yeah. need to internalize that, even over the course of a few games, is incredibly good. Oh, Very nice. good punish, realizing that Dimitri's just going to drop down and hit neutral B. All of a sudden... And now it's only 39% in yeah. it. You know, of course, it's going to extend a bit here a bit further, especially with this ledge trap situation. The S-Match won't connect. Cool. But Dimitri an opening though. could be very scary. Gets a couple of hits of oh. that forward air. Double up air. Triple up. Oh, quadruple, quadruple up air. Up <laughs> so many up airs. Run off forward air isn't going to hit either. But now in the percent lead. All, all of a sudden. Dash attack nearly gets the weak nair. That could have led to an up smash. Not oh, killing, wow. but yeah. That side B was a little risky, but. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, wow. Doesn't get the back. Just barely gets the air dodge there. Dimitri Giving some space have to hit there by that back air. Dash tag, this is huge because off stage is so scary. Oh, Doesn't hit the back air. Gives space for that down B to come out. We don't see a Patui from ledge. I think the punish on that has really shaken Dimitri from doing it, yeah. at least in this game. These jumps are so fast, oh, the back, back throw. Air. This is huge. Throw, the wave yeah. land. What's it gonna be? Oh, it's just Patui! It's not gonna kill! Oh, not quite. Is that? Oh, oh my god, that was such a good angle and it pops above ledge. No! Oh, the off shield yeah. misses! Double jab, up oh, tilt punishes the double jab. What's it oh gonna be? God. The fair to stall. Oh my god, the oh movement, god. the movement! Ah. Oh my god! <laughs> it doesn't kill! It didn't kill. No, oh my god! Oh my god! That was so good, Scarfell, oh with these god. insane reactions, goes for the edge guard. I've oh my god, and we get like another that. game five. I'm not worthy. Oh my god. This is why these players got so Ooh. far. Scarf and they're both now. just having a chat. They're both just laughing about it. <laughs> they're just like, oh yeah. That, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, you no. can do that. I, I was laughing that this morning. <laughs> yes, I do that I all the time. Yeah, no, it's, it's fine. I and we're just going to go same <laughs> characters. I wonder what stage, but I can't Probably PS2, wait. I'd say. PS2 or I'd small battlefield. Yeah, yeah, there we go. All what right, are we here we go. Game five. Single laser. Okay, hey, Scarfell's winning. Our last game five. Our last game five. <laughs> Tio's rejoice. <laughs> Tio's everywhere. Okay. All right. This is a very strong lead so far, but it you know, didn't lead yeah. to everything in the last game. Quick 60% there. Oh, yeah, last game he started with the yeah. shield. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, but then Scarfell, they just made it all back because, yeah. you know, those combos, that Scarfell insane advantage state and caring. patience and neutral. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's no. unfortunate. I hate to see that. Yeah, I don't think it'll affect Dimitri too much oh, because wow. that's going to well, kill. Two stocks each, 0%. 2-2, yeah. 2-2. Two, 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 two. Oh, the trade. Good reaction from Scarfell. Just going for the grab straight away out of it. Spot dodge there, trying to avoid a possible grab, but none coming out from Dimitri. These double jumps are quite scary because it yeah. can be a, like, a bit unreactable for the non-Fox player, just with how fast you know Fox goes up. Oh, we got a bit of a vortex. Oh, another all pair. If another Scarfell. one hits. Oh my god, going off stage again. It's a rare <laughs> sight to see, you know, just the plan may be scared. Just do it. Yeah, There's just do so it. You're Fox. It, that it's was so much fun to watch earlier. Oh, oh very that's good. Not quite. Not going to kill. Yeah, but the next one certainly so well close. doesn't connect. Up tilt. What are we going to get? And there's oh. the up smash. Scarfo with a huge lead. What does Dimitri have to say about it? Down. Okay. I want to see this to be last dog. Yeah. Okay. This could be big. Here we go. Dimitri. Oh, the fair from ledge gets the combo out of it. And the air dodge isn't punished, though. Gets to the ground. Gets the ground back air. Throw, sorry. Oh, grabs out of that. Very good. Yeah. The getup attack does retreat afterwards, so being able to react fast enough allows you to punish with grab. Parries the first oh. hit, but 
The multi-hit will take over. I think oh, Scarfell's is... trying to, you know, finally smells blood in the water here. He knows that they can take it. Oh, dead. that's oh, down there. Slash is not going to kill. Oh, not quite. The Petui coming in from above. Does... Oh, oh my god! Oh, Dimitri brings Scarfell down to their last this stock. Last it's an up smash Game away. Five. Oh, and oh, this is my god, the up, up throw. Barely. What's it going to be, that Andy? Air, air punishes the air. Scarfell wins 3-2. Dimitri is out at nine. Dimitri is out at nine. Dimitri is out at nine. Dimitri, top seed? No, second no, seed. No, one of the best seed. I'm not sure if I have her in that here, but I Dimitri. Yeah, Dimitri, out at nine. Oh, my God. And I think that's it. for Yeah, just... I, think I that's am it. shocked. I can't. I can't. I can't. You cannot. I cannot even. Can you even? I cannot even. I but can't even. I'm so glad that we got to see all those games, all those sets. That was sets. a lot of fun. I was, it really, was. I was really happy to see Every that. match went to game oh, five. Yeah. I quit the stream. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, Ahmed, for uh, sitting by guys, all of this. If you loved today's stream, please give uh, I was one a huge follow. Um, it was And support their events. Like, go to the events Yo, if you can. This, look, look at this. Look at this. It's insane. Us. Yeah, isn't this insane? Isn't oh. this so cool? Go to it. Go go to the weeklies. Go to the monthlies. I promise it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. We uh, love you, and uh, we will catch you all tomorrow. Same. Top eight tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, at, oh, it's going to be such a top eight. One o'clock. One o'clock ish. I mean, this, you can this, find info probably somewhere else. From. Yeah. Like one o'clock. It's probably one o'clock. Um, so yeah, tune in tomorrow. We're getting top eight. Top eight is going to be. Uh, Good question. We're going to have SBF, Snook, Sassy Priest. Um, I think Antu got in on winner's side. Antu got in on winner's side. And I think. Uh, and then on loser's side, we're yeah, going to get kay. Selkie, Mithiel, John, and Scarfelt. This is going to be such That's a top an eight. Top eight. Tune in so for sad. that tomorrow. It's going to be worth it. All right. Guys, we're going to sign you out now and uh, have a good one. We'll catch you tomorrow. Thanks again.